See, I don't have ether, so I need you guys to help me out here. Who who do you guys think looks better between these two? Let me let me bring up Lumine real quick. I think Lumine's design. I think she's very pretty. Where is she? There she is. Aether are best at best as B. There are a few differences between them. They, they had this like they say had the same kit. Like we, we know what they do. Um, I think character design. I think Lumine looks better. Is it weird when I say by like based on English voice? By the way, yeah. um, I feel Zach Akalor uh, just to do it does a better job. Uh, I quite like Laura though. Uh, oh, not Sarah. Sorry. Um, no. To that day and night, both seem particularly short. She sounds cute. The skies here are full of stars, but they aren't the same as the ones. I kind of wish home. they talked more, honestly. Dude, whenever they talk, it's always hype. Hmm. Like we ever hear that? <laughs> Fuck. Yep. Yeah, see, that's the issue, right? Like that. <laughs> it's always the issue. But I think. Mm, what do you? Where would you put them? From S plus to D. Honestly. You what? I would put both of them in B. Honestly, they're just both mid. in B. They're they're gloriously mid. If, you, if we're also talking about animations and everything, yes, yeah, I think they're all yeah. Mid. And it's all about aesthetic. This is all about an aesthetic tailor. Because, so obviously, animation looks. Their whole skill design will always be inferior because they're always popping off the Archon slash Dragon Sovereigns. Yeah, it, it kind of knocks them down to C, honestly, for me. They're pretty. That's all I'll say. That's yeah. the only thing I would keep them up. To. I, I think, I think Aether's is lower in my opinion. I think he just his design is just worse. Um, that's just me though. But yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're just when you compare them to other characters, me. right? Like who who's gonna be an example of a D tier character in regards to design? Goro. You think so? Goro. Would you do? Uh, you, you think Goro? You think Goro's uh, yes, D D tier I would design? Choke, I would shoot Goro all over into D tier. Is that is that because is that because you don't want people to associate you with being a fairy? No, she's just bad. <laughs> he's just <laughs> he's just dumb. He's got a cool like samurai aesthetic kind of right. Like he's got like the armor and shit. Okay, no, I do agree. He is kind of. He, to he look sims at. for Kokomi. He doesn't do anything useful. Yeah. He has a bow. <laughs> He's a fucking. I, I have to agree, bro. <laughs> he, he, he waves his flag like, oh, look at me, press the advantage. Yeah, it's, it is. It is kind no of weird. Difference, right? No difference. No difference in looks. That's on, kind of weird. That doesn't really bird. match his character, does it? Like, it's got a paw print, sure, but like, I don't really. I do kind of have to agree with you on that one, bud. Yeah, but you see, Miss Hina only like three times. Miss Hina. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, actually, I do agree with that. Where's Goro? We'll chuck him in. He's like the D, right? He's 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 the he's like the baseline for a, what a D character. Would be. If I could, I would make a new tier in the bottom and just write fuck, <laughs> and then just put him there. Okay, now what's an example of a C tier character that's in between Lumine, Ether, and Goro? Mika? Razor. Mika and Razor. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put that there. But are they I think they're like I think they're both kind of D tier, honestly. I think they're both honestly. Would, no, oh Mika's got a crossbow, which is pretty cool. I think that kind of bumps him up a bit. Razor is I hate cool his voice because his, he has the whole famili fam yeah, family family thing. Yeah, that's that's true. He is a wall he's got a stand that bumps him up hugely as well. Hey he's eighty Adius play, uh, we're doing a tier list about character design, yeah. like I aesthetic put, um, and animations. I put Razor and C purely because he's got a stand, which looks sick. I, I think that's though. a good, it, it looks cool. The, the, the biggest part of like, why he can't soar above is no other, no language can actually do his voice well. The guy I the have the, heard, the, I the, have the wolf noises. I, ha I have heard all four languages of Razor. I was like, none of them fit. <laughs> All right, like no then, offense to those voice actors, but like none of them fit. Okay, let's let's have a look at Maker actually, because I'm actually I don't know whether to put him in D or C. Where is he? I have not touched him in freaking forever. He looks alright. 
I don't. Oh uh, my god! Hold on, pause. Citri yeah. got the essay. He. Oh my god! Holy shit! What the? Citri got the essay. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what is this? What is this? That's the that's the the math and the theory behind the the, the shred. Can I like bring this up? Hold up. Yeah, you, you might want to copy paste these messages in a word file and then like read it through. Can't I show it like individually on stream? I can do that too. I, I just find you know putting on a word word doc to be a little better. Ban the spammer? No, it's Citri, bro. You don't you don't diss Citri. Oh, I don't know how you do that. Basically, the entire damage calc looks like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all these factors that increase your base damage by a certain percentage. Like 120% bonus damage, 130% crit damage, 220% damage, increased remote reaction, 40% attack damage, the final two factors are always enemy resistance and defense, and both result in multipliers. God, this regards what freaking Jeff said, right? Oh my god. Yeah, it, he's literally ripping it to Jeff, like, mathematically. Oh my god. But it's true. The thing about building this ABC rule, if you have to invest in your artists, weapons, teammates, in a way that all your stats end up being balanced. If your character only has attack, main stat, artifacts, uh, plus weapon, suddenly an elemental goblet gets a lot better and results in higher damage than the attack one. Because small investments into something you haven't invested in, you're big. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's a diminishing return, does that make sense? Think of the nine coins in three pots. Put put them in there in any order and you, and, uh, you want, and they get. And, and the, in the end, they are all multiplayer. What's the highest number you can get? One times one times seven, seven, eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Balances everything. Defense and reshred is hard to come by, so by putting in something as insignificant as 20% reshred, you suddenly add another multiplier into the mix that hasn't been invested in before. Yeah. Exactly. That's why stuff like VV and Johnny Shield are so good. I hope that was like, no, that, no, that makes complete sense, no. Thank you, Citri. That's. I think that makes complete sense. It, it's definitely the like hard to come by moment. That's really people just don't yeah. really see. If we it's if we rare. if we get more characters that do that kind of thing, it may become less useful. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Hmm, no, we'll see. Jolie's uh, the only character who can shred Geo though. Mm -hmm. right, I think, I'm pretty sure he is. I don't, uh, think, I don't think anyone else does. Hold on, I'm I'm thinking in my head real quick. Um, okay, but Mika. Yeah, whatever. I think, uh, I think when it comes to his design, I feel like the cho I get Chocobo vibes, and I kind of like that. And he's got a crossbow, so I, I, but he's not like amazing. I don't like his voice. <laughs> so, Mika's D. What do you think, Iggy? You know my answer. Put him in. The, put him in puke pile. You think he's a D? Really? Yeah, I think he's. D. Dude. <sighs> You, okay, look, I, I, I play I play this game in English voice and Korean voice. I, I switch around at this point. Korean Mika sounds like a like a little girl. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Um, English, like English Mika sounds like a fucking... Yeah. It's fucking a character straight out of... Uh, what was that? The nerd thing? The, uh, the Diary of the Wimpy Kid. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I feel... I feel, yeah, his voice really kind of ruins it for me. All right. Okay, cool. So that that's kind of gives us a baseline of like what those tiers would be, I think. And yeah, and Lumine and Ether are above that, so yeah. Okay, Jean. We would we would Jean be. I'll leave her here for now. Let's bring her up real quick. I don't think she's amazing. Like in regards to design, she does look pleasing to look at, but like it's not like wow, you know. I do like, I do like the dandelion aesthetic she has going on, right? Because, like, her charge attack is actually really unique. Where she actually has dandelion show up, right? Like, yeah, look at that. That's quite cool. I think that's pretty cool. Great game. She, Jean's whenever I play, Whenever I play Jean, it reminds me of Dark Souls because she breaks poise. She what? <laughs> she breaks poise. Breaks poise. She's a what, poise breaker. What does that mean? So, stuns. She has a she has a very hard st like really high stun. So like poise is a, is a stat like 
it, 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 it works. It's better if you if you talk in terms of like Dark Souls. So Dark Souls. So when you get hit, right, you get a stunned animation, right? You get a you get a hit stun, right? If you have a high poise, when the atten enemy attacks you, you don't get stunned at all. You just like stand there. You still so take super damage, but you stand there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Super. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I could have just said that. <laughs> super arm from from Smash Bros. What do you mean she um, has like super arm? What does that mean? Jean, Jean has Jean's poise break is fucking good. So like even the enemies that you usually cannot stun oh, or like get she out can of stun. What's that got to do with this tier list though? Oh, I don't know. I just really <laughs> love that. <laughs> you just brought it up for no reason, dude. All right, but we're talking about like character design and aesthetic here. Uh, one thing I do want to say is her like Daniela's coming up charge attack and her E. That's pretty cool. I like that. Hold, holding E is also like really funny because you can actually just fucking yeah put, every, put everyone in a forever. That's box. pretty fun. <laughs> That's a view. Oh, I got the cat. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, 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 actually, yeah, yeah. You do that. No, 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 no. Oh, here, hold on. Go, go to Monster. Go to Monster. Oh no, no. Monster. I'm not putting a cat in the water. I've seen that video. No, 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 no. Go to Monster. And go to Catsdale. There's like six cats there. You oh can my all god, I have to do that now. <laughs> uh, I don't know a six, maybe three or four. Oh shit. Alright, alright. <laughs> I completely forgot you could do that. But goddamn, no, no, that that dandelion um aesthetic, her burst looks really pretty. Her E is incredibly unique. Right, so I yeah, think we... her field has this insignia. Where I are think? the cats? Outside. You have to go outside. It's just at the end. <laughs> oh my like, god. Outside. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I... Okay, yeah, that's three. <laughs> Wait, okay, so they're, they're just outside. But it makes my point. It makes my point. It makes my point. You yeah, just have that is very funny. <laughs> that you can do that, dude. Does it work on dogs? I think you no. can CC dogs, right? No, no dogs, dogs are, like, solid. <laughs> dogs are solid. <laughs> oh, 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 maybe it's nighttime. Maybe it's because it's nighttime. But you can oh gather so many cats. <laughs> they just look at you like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just like, hi. <laughs> Wait, it did one cat assimilate it into another cat just there? <laughs> yeah, it did. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Well, um, okay. Jinx design. What do you what, what do you say? I, I put on a solid B. You think she's a B? B B to A, B to A. Mm. Actually, no. I would, I would put her solid A. I because, think yeah. Because, I think she looks better than because these her two. burst. Because her, her burst, burst is, also has a very pretty like. It is, line. and her E is really unique. Um, she has the dandelion feet. I think she's at least A. I do. I do and think her, she deserves A. And her C six has dandelions going yeah. like dandelion field around her. Yeah, her, okay, oh, yeah, you yeah. don't know that because you don't have an E6. You don't have an E6. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, moving on though. Lisa. Where is she? Lisa. All right, I'm going to be real. I like her normal skin way better than her Samira skin. It just looks way better. That is objective fact, okay? Can't refuse. Where is Lisa? Lisa's got a really good design. Like, I'm going to be real. She looks I so good. Low key, I would put Jean way above Lisa if this is the case, though. Really? Yeah. Dude, look how good she looks. She's got the cool ass purple witch hat. She's got like the purple rose. Her burst looks cool. It's got like the, the purple rose, right? She's got a sick, like, um, big AoE E, which looks cool. Big lightning. Her autos are just lightning bolts. She aesthetically super pleasing. Right? She's gotta be. Really nice idols too, dude. Like that's something we should actually talk about. Take into consideration. I feel like as one well. of my, I feel like one of the big factor of me not really liking Lisa as much is that her attacks just doesn't feel like have an oomph. Every time I hit every, every even every time I hit like the highest damaging moves with her, it doesn't feel like I'm doing the highest damage moves. But she's like, it's just, okay, she's just doing zap. zap yeah, zap. but that's the point though. It's not meant to feel like oomph. Me she's shooting lightning bolts. That's cool though, no other character does this. Hey, you're in for a little shot. Her burst is sick too. Try not to enjoy this too much. That's pretty cool. It's got like a ro I didn't even notice that actually, the roses the ro like thorny rose outline of it. That's actually really sick. I didn't even notice that before. I think she's at least an A. 
I would put her A. I think she's at least right. Cool last witch hat. Burst looks good. She in general looks good. She's got to be at least an A, right? I would put her A. You think? I would. I would. I would put on... Lisa and Jean up together so they can kiss on the same tier. Yeah, I agree. Okay, Amber. Interesting one, actually. Amber. Hmm. She looks. She. I. I'm feeling B tier with her, honestly. Like, you, let's bring you her up get... real quick. You give her her, um, uh, Ludi her Paston clothes from the manga, and like, I'll put her in S. What does that look like? Uh, Amber Ludi Paston skin. Just, just put uh, Amber comics, comic uh, dress. Oh, with like the scarf and yeah. the white. Uh, uh, that's all right. I don't think that's that much of an improvement. I don't know why that. Ooh. And then, and fun, then, but okay. And then at the fi like in the final episode of that manga, to give her like winter clothing too. Oh, winter clothing, that'd be cool. But I think, I think she. Where is she? At the ready. I think yeah, she she gives me huge B vibes, just generic. Well, not generic, like just she looks good. Those kind she of vibes. Is a right? She just looks good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy of sticking her and be honestly. What say you? Hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Noel. Okay, I'm gonna be a bit biased for this one personally because I think Noel's design is immaculate. She looks so good. Noel looks so freaking good, chat. I actually low key put her in mid. <laughs> Why? What the fuck's wrong? Dude, she's. A maid knight. She looks so good. She got the roses aesthetic. She's got like pl armor plating, mix of like a maid. She's lovely, and she has a big lightsaber sword. What more do you want? Come on. If you want to talk about every single aesthetics, her 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 skill is just a shield. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. Just I mean, you're right. That is pretty boring. And but she has a burst, lightsaber great sword again. And then her burst is just a giant sword. It's a lightsaber um, great sword. It's Come just, on, man. Really? Uh, compared to other bursts to come, it's kind of like, okay, that's a thing. But lightsaber greatsword looks so cool, man. I don't know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely a huge bias. <laughs> a C? What the hell? No! She's also, not C. Here, also, this is gonna come out as weird, but I think her maid outfit look actually destroys her care like the characters that she actually possesses throughout the whole hangouts and everything what do you what do you mean like the, the, and lore wise she's like trying to be an aspiring nice but she's also fucking ridiculously strong there's nothing about her like a clothing design that just alludes to any of that i mean she i uh, i can see she is still a maid technically i don't know i'm feeling low a at least she she's she's an extremely contradictory looking character in terms of design and i'm just like mm, i don't know it's not even like it's rich. not even it's not even a plot twist kind of design it's like no it's just straight up just no they just she still <laughs> looks really good though like that's the thing like the red roses that she made herself like just complements it so much She's very outdated, sadly. Damage just doesn't compete, but no, a soft spot in my heart. A tier, A tier. So we're, we're, we're talking about aesthetics here, though, not like power I, or anything. Um, I would put her B at least and A at best. Not in, no way or above this. I'll put her at the top of A for now. Uh, B, sorry, for now. But if we, if we, once we get later into this and like it starts to get like if we have too many in A and in B, for example, I'll push her up to like the bottom of A. I think I'll do it like that. Um, Babs, Barbara. Barbara. Hey, the only four star that gets her own kind of a uh, cinematic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I forgot about that. <laughs> fucking. That's still fucking. That's nonsense. really funny. Was she originally meant to be a, a, a four star for that reason? I don't know. Dude, I don't Whatever fucking know. Need. Let me bring her I'll up real there. quick, actually. Um, Cause that's, that is, that is very funny. 
I would put her in C, but it, it, like, but the only potential she could have been in B is if they actually delivered her vibrant colors from her summer skin. She is <laughs> pretty generic. Yeah. Because her summer, because her summer skin in art, like sprite art, in actual 3D model art, is so fucking stupidly different. <laughs> that is <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I think her. I think that looks better than her original. You, you no. You need to see her sprite art for that. Sprite art. You mean like the splash art? The, yeah, the splash art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad we can't see. Oh, can, we can't see it in game at all, can we? No, I think I know what you're talking about. It does look way better. But I think she's quite generic. Uh, her animations are okay. Like she got the cool, pretty like she got the star effects in there, which I think is quite cute. <laughs> like, what the fuck do you? How the fuck do you downgrade so hard from the look <laughs> Yeah, it's I just I just get huge just generic vibes from her, honestly. I don't really mm, Yeah. I'm probably gonna I think I'll chuck her and see. She's not she's not like as bad as Mika and Goro though. So yeah, I think I think she's definitely Yeah, good. like you have to realize D tier is like the absolute trash. Like yeah. you're I, like it's that meme of that one guy just throwing a PC in the trash can. He's like, "You're trash." <laughs> but like, 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 she's 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 yeah, she's like she's with Fraser. Yeah, I I I'm pretty happy with that actually. You could argue that everyone's yeah. cute enough, and that makes them all an ass. <laughs> she is the only four star to have animated uh, animated ultimate. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Point point and wave, point and jump. <laughs> That's it. That's all she does. All right, Sucrose. You're gonna have a huge bias about this, aren't you? No, I actually no? think she's like, I actually think she's around like B ish. You think she's B? Let's have a look at Sucros real quick then. I think her animations are cool. Like, that's the one thing she definitely has going for her. I want to help. Um, she doesn't look like an alchemist. I think my favorite is like her, her looks the moment she, like, after she does her E. Yeah, yeah. She has a my cute, favorite. yeah, that I do agree with that. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, I do agree with that. That, that. that definitely gives her points. She has actually, she has, uh... Does she get dandelions? Oh yeah, she gets dandelions. Does, does every animal character get, like, little wee dandelion effects? Uh, for mon... for mon stats. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Um, her, her, her moves, her, her move pool definitely bumps her up for me. I actually really like her, um, idle animation, the one where she, she blows up her chemicals. Oh yeah, that's true. That is cute. That is my favorite one. Yeah, she's she's definitely at l the very least a B. Um, well, I I can like for me she's everything, but like I I can see where people are drawing but like a B or A on her. Is she is she Lisa and Jean level though? Like is she as aesthetically pleasing as them? Her attacks are cool. I think they do. I think she is better than B characters. Yeah, I'm thinking low A. I would, I would, I'll say A. Yeah, yeah cause like the more I think about it, the more I prefer her over the, the, the B tier. But I don't really, I don't, I think Jean, Jean's more, uh, looks better than her. She also has like a very elusive cake. Elusive cake? No, everyone, no one fucking knew that she had cake until, like, they actually saw it. Like, if everyone was like, going oh, crazy about Mona's, whoa. and you were just like, wait, hold on, have you seen Sucrose? <laughs> Dude, Mona's cake isn't even cake. That's, it just looks like a cake because her legs are chopsticks. <laughs> oh, bro. Fucking, fucking look into the Sucrose, and you're all like, whoa, hell, hang on a second. <laughs> all right. Wait a minute. Dude, that's a bakery right there. Moving on. Fischl. I right, Fischl. Fischl's sick. Holy shit, dude. I think Fischl might be the first, like, S+, plus, I'm gonna be wrong. Um, everything about Fischl is just great. Uh, let's bring her up real quick. Like, Fischl, her animation, she has the Jojo poses. In the name of the princess her skin is sick too. I'll go, I'll go back to her original skin for this, though. Um, I, yeah, I actually hate her skin. Like, she looks cool, the freaking animations. Look at this shit. Her quote signature weapon unquote is also kind Look at of that! Design. Frickin' has a flying magical bird that also talks and has an awesome voice. Like, don't get me wrong, like, Fischl's, Fischl's skin is actually nice, but like, outside of 
golden apple. It looks so fucking out of place. Yeah, that's true, yeah. But, like, she, she's just... Scream style, honestly. For sure, it's just so cool. If only, if only the Midnight Waltz, uh, if only Midnight Waltz has a different stat, like it would be a perfect no fit with her. But what, 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 what do you mean? The, her, her quote signature weapon unquote. Oh, <laughs> wait, do I have that? Do you uh, even have that? the purple one? That's one. You should. That does look good on her though. If it was anything other than Fizz, it would have been like fucking dude. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. No. True. Yeah. No. But she. Then yeah. they gave her a fizz. I'm like, why? <laughs> why is this a thing? Yeah, I, I'm leaning towards S plus. I'm gonna be real. She's just so she's perfect. I don't think she's S plus worthy. I think she's S. You think? She but gets, like, mm... she gets a high praise, but I don't think she's peak. Because there's other we do have more care. Okay, yeah, I'll put her in S for now. Just until we get to, through some more, like well, once we we look at like what an S plus character looks like, I think that's when we'll decide on her. I think, but she'll be an S for now because she's definitely baseline S. But I think she speaking could of be S plus, than... speaking of S plus, we have one coming right now. Mona, you think so? Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's have a guess. Speaking of Mona, let's have a gander at her, in a in a, in a you know a, a respectable way, of course. Not not even not even like. The like her her body and everything. No, sure, her her fucking effects are actually. Fucking oh awesome. no, you're right. Actually, no, that's a really good the, point. The astrological effects that she puts out. That's true. Really she looks. Cool. Yeah, hold on. Let's have a look. Actually. Oh, like all spacey, right? Oh my god, you're right. Oh, you're right. I completely forgot about that. Like, if oh you look yeah, that at looks her, so like, cool. Not even not even the attack sprites. It's just like look at herself. You yeah. Can see, like there's a background of astrological signs and shit like that. That is true. She, also, yeah, she, no, you're right. Also, she's sassy as fuck. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is taking personality into account, of course. Um, if you, if you take into personality for Fischl, like, fucking put Mona there and she beats it. <laughs> Pretty fucking yeah. solidly. Yeah, no, I'm feeling... I, I'm, I, I am... The more I'm looking at her, the more I am agreeing. Like, even when you remove, like, the lewdness aside, right? Yeah, fuck she the looks lewdness. Like, she's really good. good. Like, she genuinely is a really well-designed character. Like, her hat is sick. If you want to add like her character She's story and like the event too. story, like I dude, look, I I get it. People loved Fischl's castle, but like fucking everything oh, dude, about right. Mona's island was yeah. Mona's up. Mona's puzzles were sick too, dude. Like yeah, Mona. I, I'm gonna have to agree. Everything about Mona. I want to look at her burst real quick. Her burst, so freaking sick. Have you seen what it like looks like? Like the freaking starry mm -hmm. shit. It yeah, looks sick. Really Let me get some energy might, real quick. You might want to summon like a, a geo construct, like, and then just do a burst nearby it, so you it, it, you don't get a. Close oh, up. you're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll just walk yeah, away. See, I said that with like, you know, I said the official being not S plus because I knew what was <laughs> happening right after. I was like, no, nah, Mona's right there. Like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. no I am, can't be S plus. I am starting to agree with you there because like the more like, like, just look how good. Also, also, like, look, look at her move. One look at that. More, look at that. Bar barring the fact that I fucking hate the 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 actual the alternate dash mechanic. The alternate dash mechanic is kind of cool too. And it, that's, that is cool, yeah. Especially yeah, when they fixed only, it, shooting it stuck on every little wee pixel. If only if it wasn't, like, mechanically stupid. It's fixed. It's way better than before. I still fucking hate it. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Uh, so I just have to stand next to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just stand, yeah. like, here, I think, like this. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That didn't work. Yeah. Whoa, no, that no, still no, looks dude. cool. Yeah. That still, still looks fine. cool. Like, even when you couldn't see it from that perspective, it looks amazing. Like, I feel like that's... Yeah, we got it. We got to put her in S Plus, dude. She's still fucking solid, too. She, I, I think she's a very good Oh, yeah. Character. Dude, I play with Navia when, like, Farina's on a different team and she slaps. Freaking, you burst an enemy and then you freaking shoot them and they take, like, 300k. It's great. Mm -hmm. Alright. Kaya. Uh, C for concave ass. <laughs> All right, moving on. D. Luke. <laughs> Look, I don't have his skin, <laughs> but his skin is very good. Nah, yeah, let's, let's be nice. Yeah, I was just kidding. Um, let's see now. I do have him on his skin still, I think, right? Yeah, the D. Luke skin is fucking tight. 
Wait, are you talking about Kaya skin or Deluxe skin? Uh, Deluxe skin. Oh, okay. I thought, you were, I thought we were still on Kaya. Actually, <laughs> actually, correction on top, right? Deluxe skin with Wolf's Gravestone <coughs> at the same time is so fucking baller. It is insane. I think Kaya is still the though. I'll say he's pretty, he's pretty standard. Fucking concave ass looking bitch. Get but that but, but Deluxe, though. Get Kaya out of my face. That concave ass looking son of a bitch. I think Deluxe high B. Nah, nah. So you're thinking about his nah. skin, though. I don't have that. So, nah. Dude, fucking the Phoenix. Mm, true, true. Where is he? In, the, in, a, in a flaming Claymore sword? Like, I would, dude, if you want me to choose between the fucking Geo lightsaber and a, fire, a sword legitimately on fucking fire, I would choose the sword. He does, sword. yeah, he does have a good design. Fire. Yeah, no, I, I do have to. Nah, yeah, he's definitely higher than B. He's at least an A. Yeah, he's at least an A. Yeah, they look basic as A. I, I but think, if you want me to I put think. skin on top of that, he is like S fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's that's not really accessible though. We should really look at their base designs. I think. Fair enough. Um, yeah, no, dude looks definitely A. He does look really damn good. Okay, Bennett. I'm gonna be real. Bennett's design is really meh. No, uh, you know, you know what I'm gonna say. He's uh, he's along with Goro and. Uh, really? He's yeah. not that bad. Dude, his fucking clothes are ragged ass. Fuck yeah, but that's dude, the that, point, though. <laughs> that guy looks like he went to Forever 21 and thinks he looks kind of fucking slick. No, he looks like a fucking hobo. He's got a band-aid on his nose. He's got scars and more band-aids, dude. I think it's quite cool. Guy yeah. don't take care of himself. And what is he? Well, about he's about unlucky. Fucking, what do you expect? He probably tries Facebook. to, okay? He tries. His, his verse is a fucking Facebook like, except it's red. <laughs> <laughs> he tries, man. He tries, okay? Come on. <laughs> Benny's adventure team assemble. Has, has Talk he, about the result. Effort okay. does not consider into the overall <laughs> But uh, I, I like the fact that if you hold his E, he can like fall off a cliff, which is really funny. Um, Naruto wanna be us. He does have goggles. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna be the greatest ninja in the world, except he's gonna get fucking beheaded. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Like, hmm. sure, meta, great. Like, character, great. Fucking design. He, he fucking puts a toothpick on the fucking yolk of his egg. Is he C or D, chat? D. Dog. D dog. Fine. He's at, least, he's at least the highest of the Ds. At least he, I'll give him that. Fine. He is the highest of the Ds. I, I won't give any. Also, I'm, I'm gonna put Kai and B, actually. I think he looks better than those two. <clears throat> Um, Ningguang. Ningguang. Uh, uh, Let's have a look. Cause she, dude, her skin, it's it is it is free. Freaking well, immaculate. not free anymore. Oh, true, true. And we should we shouldn't um, yeah, consider the skins right uh yeah that's why i didn't consider kaya's skin because kaya's skin looks nice but yeah. like basic still look i still can't dude Let's make i haste. can't stop looking at his ass not because he looks nice it looks gro like terrifying ningguang's skin looks so damn good dude like like her, her her like that's her normal one that's all right like that does look cool but that just that's like a step above like honestly, like that, that make that, that make like her skin makes a tear difference in my opinion. It looks great, but we should we should consider their base looks though. I think I do, um, I do love the jades that like circle yeah, around her. Yeah, she does have a really cool aesthetic. Like, don't waste my time. Like that's like pretty cool. Yeah, I think she's pretty fucking baller. I want to get I want to get her like Jade effects real quick. Hold up, because she get, they like circle around her like Raiden's ring does. It looks really sick. Mm -hmm. Hold up, um, like when you use her bursts, when she's C six, you get seven of those. It looks amazing. Let me get that real quick, guys. Hold up. I think her, in my opinion, I think her base is S, but her skin is S plus. Oh, isn't her? Thanks for the follow, my guy. It's not. Imagine okay, so, having C six thing. We'll fucking be good at Gamba. Dude, so like those are those are her rings normally, right? That looks really cool. But when you use her you got, burst, you got, you got a burst. You got a burst. Yeah, hold on. Shit, I'll, I'll show them. I'll show them. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So that's that's how she looks normally, right? When you got just three stacks, and you charge attack to get rid of them. 
Right. You gotta, you gotta have the. the but when you use her to. burst, she gets seven of it. Look how cool that looks. That's so sick. And the charge attack that. Look at that. She looks amazing, dude. Like that's actually oh, oh, right. really There's sick. No target. Well, it still There's looks no cool. Target. They like flung out like that. Yeah, I mean, but if it has a target, it, it gives you like a geo trail. True, true. But I think I think we're like, I think she's S, in my opinion. I think her I think she's her base is S, but add skin on that. Oh yeah, maybe. yeah. But I think S is fair because she looks amazing. Yeah. Beto, mommy. Beto, hmm. I I feel like Beto should get a skin at this point, right? We should look for a new investment. I, one thing I absolutely love about Beto is, like, remember how I said, like, Lisa doesn't feel like her attacks have an impact? Oh. Fucking Beto, everything Beto is, like, has an oomph. Yeah. No, I you love the kick. About Dude, she kicks the freaking Claymore, man. It looks sick. God, I love the kick on the Claymore. Look at this. Yeah, her autos are nice. Her autos are sick. Too bad they suck. Holy shit. Look at this. Like, like, people say, like, step on me, Yolan, step on me, Yula. I'm like, nah, the OG is I, fucking beta. Right see, there. it's so sad when characters have such sick autos, but you don't play them for their autos, because you never get to see them. It's like, Toma's got amazing autos. We'll get to him in the future. But, like, Beta's another one of those. Her, her autos look so freaking good. Look at that. That's and so also, satisfying. I, also, there's a lot of counter characters now, but, like, nothing is ever satisfying than oh, yeah. Beto's fucking counter. Like, Beto actually just... has... Uh, you get hit and you you know you counter when you get hurt you can't it's not even it. like it's not even the swing it's like the moment where she counters when she gets hit and the counter effect yeah like, let's let's try that actually because i 100 agree it feels good i wish like you like that few millisecond of impact is so cool yeah like watch this right i'll do it now yeah. wakey wakey gotcha. yeah you feel that like that's cool no, no, you, you, no, you gotta do the perfect counter. Oh, okay. that, that's the one where she gets the fuck. <laughs> but her burst is cool too. Like stabbing the sword into the ground? Yeah. That's pretty sick. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking high A. If you ever want to trade tactics, oh, I'm I always think it's ready. just alongside Ning Wan so they can kiss you. You think you. Oh, no, you're fair. Huh. Hmm. She's definitely Chat. A at, to the, at the least, but does she Chat. She doesn't look as... Uh. Chat, he may have opinions, but I have the I have the sense. <laughs> no, I, I don't know, I feel S. like she's top A. Nah, nah, she low ass, bro. Really? If you put Beto below, I, I, I disagree with Beto being lesser than fucking Fischl and Ningguang. I cannot accept that. The okay, fucking... low S. Yeah, she is better than these characters the, when I think about the, it. The, the fucking pa feeling of a power trip. Yeah. You and her normals her. are sick. Her counter sick. Yeah, no, yeah. I think she's at least low, low S. Kuching. This one's gonna be interesting. Kuching. Our girl Kuching. Okay. I, I, I adore her skin. Like, I have not taken her skin off ever since I got it, the new one. But even her base outfit looks really damn good. Her, her skin puts her up a tier, like, this skin is beautiful. But even her base outfit, I have not seen that in forever, that still looks really sick. And Kuching's- uh, Kuch oh, dude, Kuching looks so freaking sick. Frickin' Ninja, Teleport Slash, Frickin' Disappears when she attacks. Look at this, look at this! Frickin' Flip, tel dude, that's so cool. And she's Virgil, like oh god, Kuching is so sick, dude. Like I, she, I, I like she was my very first five star character. I got her day one, from a lucky pull, right? And god, I was floored. I was so freaking happy. <laughs> I actually didn't get fish until like 1.2. Didn't you? Shit, dude. God damn. And you were, no, no, you're no, a wild even, too. No, 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 not even 1.2. Um, fucking way before, way after that too. I think. I think I got her. I, got, I think I got her, and then two weeks after her banner showed up. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's oh, how close man. it was. I completely forgot she got a banner, dude. Okay, hold on. Let me just get a burst real quick because I freaking love this shit. <laughs> like I and the storm meadows approaching. Like people made a lot of memes of this. With sword Look at this. 
Dude, you can't get better than that. That's so satisfying to use. Like, I still play Kuching so much to this day. Especially since, ever since, um, Deidre came out. She's, like, the best standard character now. Yeah, I... Ah, man. Looks good. Feels good to play. Animation's a peak. Like, she's gotta be... The, the question is, is she I, S I or S nice, plus, though? I think the really good nice touch was, like, they gave her the hat horns to make it look like she's a cat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, true. This, I think she's definitely Not, S not a furry, this. guys. I'm just pointing it out. <laughs> I think she's definitely uh, S plus with this, with the skin, because that looks just better. But is she still S, uh, S plus, just regular skin? Is she S plus or S? I no, I think she's S. You think she's S? You don't think she's Mona Tear, even though she's got really sick. She's like the same as Mona, sick animation, sick burst. Here's I think the thing, the thing she think, has over Mona is her E is cooler. I don't think like. I think it's just it's just like standardized S level for me, right? Like, what makes Mona <laughs> special? I, it's because Mona has this, Mona, Mona has a more dr dreamy and dramatic effect than Fischl does, in my opinion, at least. Because the only thing Fischl has is, you know, aside from her burst, you mean, you mean all of her stuff. Yeah, Kaching, sorry. All, all, all Kaching has, aside from her burst being judgment cut, is just being normal, normal, normal. Mona, cut. Mona is an S plus because she has very unique and um, aesthetics. Basically, she has that starriness in her attacks. Um, which is which looks really good and it's unique to her like only she has that like the, the, the watery combined the wateriness combined with the starry spaciness of her attacks it looks phenomenal and her character design she's funny she is sassy she's like she's perfection you know she's really cool that's why what we put her in S plus um but the thing is I is coaching like the perfect. same level I don't think coaching is perfect you don't well, like mm. I think the only thing that stops her from being S plus is these other characters that are like her. They're like ninja, like have nin cool, like kuki has got similar attack animations to her, which look really cool. But it's not unique to her. Like Mona's are unique to her. They look really special. I think she's at least top of S though. Yeah, I think she's S. I think, for but, me, it's just S. But I will say, with her skin, she's S plus because her new skin. Oh, with with, with her skin, definitely. Yeah, because it looks amazing. But I think I'm I'm happy with that though. Shang Ling. Shang Ling. So she like she. She's kind of like Pikachu to me, honestly. She's got that good combination of cute and cool. Um, have I got a team with her here? Yeah, I do. She has Golba. Golba, honestly, that adds points. Golba adds points, bro. Come on. Golba adds points. Golba is part of her. Uh, like, like, her, like her outfit-wise, how she looks, pretty generic. Like nothing I special. I don't feel. I don't think Golba should be responsible for raising her up a tier. <laughs> no, no, I don't think he's responsible. But her animations are pretty good, though. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pyronado looks cool. Her kind of spinning spear of fire around her that looks cool but she is rather generic i think she's not amazing i think she's a b a low b in my opinion what say you Koba's s plus <laughs> I, I think she's just like c you think she's c mm. you think you think kaya and above look better than her and have a bit of aesthetic overall. Wait, why is Kai in B? Or B? I thought he was in C. Are we, are we actually going to put him in C? I thought he was better than that. No, Kai is concave ass bullshit fucker. Alright, because you're freaking biased. I'll put him in C for you. She feels so generic. Yeah. I do think characters like Amber... Yeah, I think these characters do look better than her in general. And have a bit of aesthetic. Like, like, Noelle's giant laser sword is cooler than Pyronado. Especially if you spin off that shit, it's like a giant laser Yeah, I'll put her at the top of C, I think. Because I like her more than the others in C, but I don't like her more than these ones, so I think that's fair. Big Chongus. Ch I completely forgot what he's like, holy shit. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I completely forgot what Chongyun is like. Um, what does he even do? I actually can't remember, dude. Um, Chongyun. Chong? Big Chongus, yeah. 
Impressive. I actually really like his normal animations. Let's there. have a look, because I actually cannot remember. Really? That's really generic. I think... I think Chong is... That's really boring. Why do you like that? What the fuck? The three sla that's for a consolation though, the three slashes at the end there. But that looks really boring to me. I don't know why you like that, that's really lame to me. Um, field good. Oh yeah, he knows um, the field. The AoE field looks good. And, like, honestly, his normals look better once he's in the field, in my opinion. It's just a more cryo sword, but you're using a worse destroyed sword, which is kind of negative points in design already. Give him like a cool. We're, we're not. We're not. We're not focusing on that right now, though. We're focusing on like just everything else. The weapon doesn't matter. Um, a touch of frost. Hmm. What does his burst do? I don't know what his burst is. He puts like seven fucking ice swords into the ground. Oh yeah. How does that look? Let me let, let me have a look because I I've completely forgotten what he looks like actually. I know his I know his idols are cool. Like he has that cool like ninja shit right with the tiles. That's yes. pretty cool. I like that. Um, I do like how he looks too, like the the icy aesthetic with the, with the light blue and the white. I think he looks good, his outfit. I think he looks really good. But I want to see his burst before I actually decide anything. And these guys are near freaking. Yeah. Let me just blow that up real quick, there we go. Just use Shen for the funnel. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, but there was a barrel there. Yeah. Is that enough? Okay, there we go. Let's see what this looks like. From whence you came. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like those are giant eye swords. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I can see that being satisfying using them of like a tight combat too. I think he's at least B. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let's bring up the other characters real quick. Um. Yeah, no, I am I, I am liking him in B, because I think he looks better than these characters. He's about the same as these characters. No, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Hi B? What what do you, what do you think, Iggy? I put him in B. I don't I don't I don't order. Uh, you don't order? Just letting you know. I, I don't Well order. I've got like high and low, that's really it. Like in the middle's in the middle. Like if you're at the uh, back, you're at the back, you're at the front, you're at the front. Here's the thing, like uh, ordering already puts uh, like adds another, another layer of headache for me, so I just put them in a tier. That's it. <laughs> Fair enough. And for me, he's a he's a B. A B? Yeah. He's cool enough as it is. Okay, yeah, pun intended. Okay, cool. Sing Cho, the water boy himself. Let's have a look. I haven't actually played Sing Cho in ages. I stopped playing him ages ago, ever since I got I Yelan, take honestly. Call to call. Um, let's see. Uh, lower than Chong Yun, I'll tell you that. Lower than Chong Yun? Oh, I've got a skin on. Let me switch that off real quick. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, get, like, take off the biggest handicap ever given to him. <laughs> Farina. Take off the biggest handicap ever given to him. There we go, now we're at basic level. God. It is very, he is very generic. Dude, I don't even like her sword aura thing around him. Her, he her? Did you say her? Fuck. <laughs> I don't even like that. I don't even like the look of that. Holy shit. <laughs> Fix his damn shorts. Dude, his, his it looks like a Yan Ching his, sword, and I hate that too. His normals are pretty standard too, like. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling C with this one. Yeah, at least he's not disgusting. Yeah, like he's still he like he looks nice, so he's not D. Like when you're D you look you look gross. <laughs> but when you're C you're like, yeah, it's acceptable, like I'll play you. <laughs> you know? Like when, when you're in D tier, I look at I look at the character in D tier and I, I enact a little you know you know in Family Guy when uh, when when they when you know the episode where Meg gets a makeover? But before oh that, God. every time people saw her, like they just burned themselves on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that, that's what I want to do whenever I see them. <laughs> god damn. Alright. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. How do we rate Chi Chi's acidic? I honestly. Hmm. Well, let's bring her up. I actually haven't had her in like my team for a while. It's time um, for the let's see. We'll just chuck her in. Oh, fuck it, we'll keep her in this one. Where is Chi Chi? Chi Chi, there she is. The fun thing I have with Chi Chi is just, uh. Her sword style is actually, like, the ancestral version of Kitchen Sword. Doesn't, style. doesn't she switch hand mid combo? I think she does, right? I remember someone putting that. She's, she's right handed here. 
Yeah, and then she goes left-handed. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I do really like, because look how good her normals look. See, that actually looks cool. Um, her normals are nice. The, if you actually compare her normals with, with Kaching, it's, it's like almost the same. Hmm. Nice. She's, she's using the, the same sword style. Her, that's, her, that's the lower way. Her E is pretty meh. I mean, it's not anything super impressive. How does she look though? I love her hat and like the talisman and stuff. <sighs> I'm not getting in the wow factor though, honestly. Chi doesn't give me the wow factor, that's that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm thinking... Mm, top of She's C? Right. Top One, of C? Two, Bottom three, of B? Three, four, and... So I'm not she's right. Yeah, she's alright, yeah. I'm probably gonna put her at the top of C. I think. I think, yeah, I think she's better than Chang at least, but I don't think she's as good as them, I think, yeah. Venti? I don't have Venti, unfortunately. Um, but Venti does look very cool. And his animations are really cool. He does still have that flying thing. Oh, where is he? Yeah. It's Venti. Got the cool light blue braids. It's like green and white. Golden white aesthetic. This looks really nice. Yeah. You think Venti is mid B? That's a cool animation, though. What do you What do you think about Venti? I think he's B. <laughs> like I know you, I know you know someone's mid when you just don't say much about them. <laughs> like you just have nothing to add to this. <laughs> like we have like Beto and Kuching and shit. You just talk nonstop, and then we come to like Venti and Chi Chi is like silence. No, to be fair, I didn't say anything about Kuching. You you had to fucking goat that out of me. No, you 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 still see the law though. No, 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 no. I was talking about Mona when comparing with uh, the Kuching. All right, all right. But you got nothing to say about Venti. Yeah. Where would you where yeah. would you put him though? B. B. All right, let's have a look real quick then. Is he is is Venti? Better than these? I do think he is. Is he as good as the A tier? No. You don't think so? <laughs> no. He's got a cool- his burst is a freaking black hole, bro. I don't have Venti, and I'm like trying to like speak up for it's him. It's not a black hole, it's just a wind ball. But like, it's just... It has, a, it has an effect of a, of a black hole, yes, but it looks more like a ball of wind. I, I, I feel like you're being a bit harsh here, Davinci, man. I don't even have yeah. him, <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm, and I think he's better than that. The wind grinder, yeah. Look, the only thing special about him is you hold E and he floats low. That's it. Isn't that unique to him, though? Isn't that kind of like the Mona argument? Uh, Kazuha can oh, jump. Oh, true, true. Or Xianyun can jump three yeah, times in the air. Yeah, true. And also, Let's um, talk about Wanderer uniqueness. can fuck fly. That guy. That's true. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll leave him on top of me then. Klee, I don't have Klee, <laughs> so I can't bring her up on my account. But we can just do. Design-wise, I think she's great. Yeah. Yeah. I she's cute. She's she looks like Mario. Klee is. I think Klee has more recognition than Kaching does at this point in time. Mm. Yeah, design, she's like, she is really good. She's I very am cute, very recognizable. I'm actually absolutely certain people recognize Klee way more than... No, like, you're right, yeah. And other other Genshin uh, potential mascots. That is true. Um, she, yeah, very cute. Her bursts are cute. She just screams cute, basically. Like, that's her whole shtick. Um... I'm trying to remember what her bursts are like. She like sparks and flash, does that thing, throws it up, makes the fireworks and shit happen. I don't know, the bug explosion, sorry. Um, yeah, like there's really not much else to say about her. She's very unique. She throws bombs to attack, which is, you know, cool. Um, yeah, honestly, like it's really, you can't really deny that. She's, I think she's at least S, right? Like, she's better than Watson A, I, I do think. Uh, I but think is she. She's S plus. You think she's S? Plus? Yeah. Hmm. Is she better than who's an S? 
Imagine if Clear worked off field, dude. I wish I, that I've been praying for that every night. I would actually, I would have rolled for Clear years ago if she worked off field, bro. She'd be so good. Um, because because every every aesthetic, every design about her puts like in a childlike innocence, and also they keep maintaining the 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 little poppy bomby kind of sound effects. Everything yeah. is very consistent and just ele elevates what and she, she like what she looks like. She has that cute like terrorist vibes, you know, like she literally throws bombs and she's just a little girl, you know, like it's it's very the, like the terrorist vibe is literally the cherry on top. It's yeah, not it's even, hilarious. Like, the it's, that's that's the combination of being hilarious and cute. And it's just it's, it's it warms your heart. So yeah, her being recognizable is really important. And, and if we're talking about an aesthetic tier list, I do think that is an S plus worthy. Honestly, like you yeah. can't. She's so recognizable. She's extremely unique. Like as much as it pains me to put her put her above Kuching, I do think her design overall is better than Kuching. It is literally like you can't get better than that. Um, so yeah, we'll put her in S plus next to Mona. Tartagles, Tortellini, another character I don't have. Um, it's like three in a row now. Okay, what do you think about Mr. Tortellini? I... Honestly, I think I think he's cooler than Kachin. Do you? Yeah. Hmm. The fact he like I goes from bow, a bow into like a dual blade stance that is pretty sick. Well, that, that, that idol is pretty cool. The fact he wields a bow because he, he's the weakest with that weapon, like he wants to get better out of it, is so cool. I think that's like a really cool lore thing about him. Like, I think he is S2, but I'm, I'm just saying personally, I like his design way more. He does look cool. No, I, 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 I do agree. He looks sick. Um, I like his mask he fucking, too. He also fucking even like even though he's he's using a bow, he's handling like he's handling a rifle. Yeah, and he throw dude he throws an arrow. Like I love I wish I had him because I would be showing this right now. He eats he the doesn't, arrow. He doesn't throw the arrow. He doesn't throw the arrow. Yeah, he does. He does a he does a swiping fire. Does he still no he throws it? No no no, he fires. Like what? he fires that arrow while swinging his arm at the same time. But it looks like he's eating it. The arrow. I wish, he, he I wish Zephyr firing. was here to confirm because Zephyr's a child sum. He and is not throwing it. He, like, you know, you know how in the movie, in, in movies, when you pistol whip at the same time firing a gun, firing a pistol. I need to see it. That is legitimately I need to see it. what he's doing. Mm, I still think he looks cool, and, I, and I've seen his animation, especially when he's, he's in his E form, and like he's got two unique animations: his normals from his bow and his normals from his. Um, from his E attacks, which look really cool too. They're all like swirly and shit, right? Like, I don't know him and I know that because from what little I've seen. And you know that's good design when you can remember it really well like that. Um, his burst is cool too. Um, not much else to say, honestly. That's really all I can think of. I mean, I don't have him, so it's a bit harder for me to judge, but I do think he's at least S. Yeah. Like if there was a yeet, if he yeeted the arrow, he would have a different, a different like sound effect. But it is legitimately a, a sound effect of an arrow firing at a bow. He kind of punches right hook and shoots an arrow, so it kind of looks like he's throwing it, I guess. Because I remember someone telling me uh, he did that, and when I looked at it, it looks like he's throwing the arrow, but it's probably really quick to, and hard to notice. Seen you a bit of him on Discord? Well, let me have a look real quick. Oh great, Citri just joined your Discord and the first thing he would see is the fucking oh. holy Bible. There, you're right, yeah. Yeah, he is shooting. That, that does look sick though, his normal is African. It oh, you showed the like E. He's, it kind of looks like he's throwing the arrow, it but does. he's in fact, his normal shooting. Is, his normal is sick, dude. He gets the lance out too, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely S. Child looks Although, it, like, though that just makes it more impressive. That means he fired a bow at that exact moment. Yeah, that, that is actually, no, he's definitely, I'm gonna put him, like, in the middle. Like, he, he, uh, he does look really good. I'm happy with him there. Yeah, thanks for that, Cedric. I appreciate that. Alright, uh, Diona. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be some, uh, uh, I've got some funny comments about this one. I feel like a lot of people don't like Di Diona, dude. <laughs> Where would you put Diona? Diano. Diano, a character I can finally C. show. Meh? C. C? D Diano, yeah. C? She is salty. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree, right? Yeah, her, her, her stuff isn't that 
Miss sure she throws that and makes a circle impact. Her E is just a... Uh, she shoots paws, which are cute. Oh, that's pretty cute. I like the jump she does. Yeah, her animations are good. Uh, design, very standard. Diona is quite forgettable. Like, a lot of people don't... When you think of Genji, people don't think of Diona that much. I yeah. Spent how, I spent She's how not... many hours on her guide? I don't Wait, remember. Wait, what? Oh, right. Yeah, you made a guide of her. I forgot about I, that. I spent how many hours on her guide? I... It's a regrettable amount of hours. Yeah, I don't think she's as worse as the D character. She's not as bad as the D characters, though, I think. I think she's actually crazy. Actually, 75% of my hours on her guide has had to do with that one bug that was fixed later. What do you, what, what do you think she would be, though? Still Z. Still C? Okay, yeah. That's not beating the furry allegations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Zhong Li, the man himself. Now, interesting. I wonder what people are going to be saying about Zhong Li. I'm actually going to be our team. Yeah. Keep going. You're all good. But where, do, where would you guys put Zhong Li? Omega S tier? Yeah. It's Zhong Li, dude. We all remember him for it. Like, he's got like the most viewed demo in the game on the the Genshin Impact uh, YouTube for good reason because look at his animations kicks the spear super iconic animations dude his dash attack sorry his charge attack that's incredibly unique that's cool now his E obviously not super cool he does some of the pillar but his burst Zhongli has arguably one of the most iconic bursts in the game. It's so simple, you're just so damn cool. Like, I mean, this is order. That's so good. Like, you can't really <laughs> like like that. That shit is just so fun to use. I I love his burst to this very day. It's Zhongli. Lee. He looks sick. Does Freaking... Manthus wine taste the same as I remember? But where are those who share the memory? Yeah. Zhongli is also really iconic too. Like, you look at Zhongli, like, you, you know who that is, right? Like, he shows up in an event at the very end, and we all, we all pop off and get really hyped. Like, oh, Zhongli, holy shit. We were always excited to see this man. And aesthetically, looks amazing. Animation's amazing. Like, it's kind of hard to go wrong with Zhongli. But the question is, is he... Like, I think he's definitely S10 minimum. I do think that. But is he S plus? Is he like on the Mona and Klee iconic level? That's the question. And I'm honestly not sure. Um like I've got Kuching at the top of S. I feel like she you need to pass her in order to get S plus, honestly, because Kuching is really sick. She's also iconic as well. A lot of people love Kuching. For good reason. So is he above that though? That's the question. Bro, the golden black looks so clear. It does, right? The frickin' man drops a meteor, a frickin' meteor. The voice is perfect. Keith Silverstein was the perfect choice for him as well. You know? Hmm. It's quite difficult. He is more iconic than Kuching, that is true. He is also an Archon. I am leaning into low S plus for this. Um. Yeah, I think, no, I think he's deserving of S plus. The more I think about it, the more I look at what's an S. See, I'm happy with this, because when I look at characters in S, I'm like, yep, they're better than what's an A. When I look at what's an A, I'm like, yep, they're better than what's an B. So it's it's very easy to, like, understand, right? When I look at who's an S, and I look at who's an S+, plus, I can be like, yep, I think S+, plus deserves to be above what's an S. So, you know, I'm happy with only being an S+, plus. I think that makes sense. Alright, next. Oh dear. Our guitarist, Shin Yan. I... <laughs> I've completely forgotten what Shinyan does, dude. <laughs> hold up. Every wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold up. Hold on, chat. Give me, give me a second. <laughs> what does Shinyan do again? Wait, she's a shielder, right? But how does that work, though? I can't remember it for the life of me. Um, Shinyan, Shinyan. Let's jam. Oh yeah, she has that like country uh, voice, right? Oh, that's kind of cool. I like the pose when she does her E. Dude, I completely forgotten her, dude. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. When she had her hair down in the Golden Apple Archipelago, she looked amazing. She looked legs better than how her hair looks now. God, I wish that was the skin. If she had the hair down skin, hell yeah, I get that shit, dude. 
And what's her burst? Let me let, 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 let's let's just check her burst real quick because I actually I'm struggling right now, guys, <laughs> to remember what she does. Um, hmm. With skin, easy A, like a hair down skin, yeah, dude. I I I big agree. If we could get a skin like that, I probably would want to play her more. Or well, more. I, I don't actually play her at all. I don't think I've ever played her. I think I played her a bit when I first got her. They realized that she wasn't that fun to play, and then never touched her again. So. Yeah, can I get some enemies, please? There we are, some heli chills over there. Is she messy enough for D? I don't think... I don't think she's D. I don't think she's D. She might be C. She's giving me C vibes right now. She's quite... Eh. You know? Just let me shoot this... Headshot this leecher real quick. Okay, let's see what her burst does. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's not, you know, it, it's an alright burst, but I feel like it doesn't really help her case much. I still don't... I don't feel well when I play her or look at her, you know? That's the thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling C, chat. I think C... Honestly, if she had a skin, a bit of skin, that had her hair down, I think she would be a lot better. I pro people will probably want to play her more. I'm gonna be real. Right? High C, low B. I think she is better than them. Uh, I think I like Razor a bit more because the the the, the, the current Fox Spirit stand is so sick. That really carries Razor, honestly. Because Razor design is like uh, it's like D level, but he has a freaking a, a wolf stand. It looks sick. <laughs> so you can't go wrong with it, honestly. Okay, Albedo. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, he, he's a character I don't have, but I did try to get him at one point, right? I did try to get Albedo because I do like him. So let's have a look here again, because Al he does look pretty cool. His his animations are cool. Now, do you know what's a crime? Do you know what's a crime? His hair, his hair. They changed his hair, right, from the original Albedo here. It looked so much better. Dude, look at this shit. Look at this. Dude, this is a crime. Chat, look at this. Hold up. Mm. Let, me, let me bring this up for you guys real quick. <laughs> this is him with his original hair. Look. The right hand one is his hair from the artwork, right? Look at how much better that looks. Like, like, like his long hair looks so much better. <laughs> it looks so much better, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Ether is the albedo at home. Yeah. <laughs> I love his outfit though. His outfit, freaking, he looks so. His outfit looks sick. God, if he if he had the longer hair, like for real, he would actually go up a tier from that. I love his outfit though. His freaking burst moment of birth, you know. It visually looks cool. I know that. Hmm. I think. He's definitely not S. Definitely not S. He's not on that level. Is he A level? Is he A? He's definitely A or B. That's for sure. He got both in Nerf and Cosmetic and Kit. Yeah. That's unfortunate, dude. I'm... I'm... He is bolding in the game. <laughs> his, 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 his little E platform like is like an elevator. That's pretty unique. I'm feeling low. I'm feeling high B. I think Venti is. Yeah, I, I look at Venti. I don't think he's as cool as Venti, but he's not as cool as these four though. So I, I'm, I think high B is fair. I think yeah. Not amazing, but he does look cool. If he, if his hair was fixed, easy A, easiest A of my life. Holy shit, that's that's the only change. All right, Ganyu, another character I don't have. Hopefully we're getting through all those quicker. Um, hmm. Ganyu. She's literally wearing a onesie and an apron. Like, look, 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 see? It's a skin tight onesie and an apron. It's literally, it's literally what she's wearing. 
Um, I think her new skin definitely makes her better, but I'm gonna be real, I'm not a fan of Ganyu's that design. Um, I like her hair. I'm just not, I'm just not crazy about Ganyu, guys. I'm really, I really don't feel it with Ganyu. I'm thinking just B, honestly. Her E is really boring, it just summons that little wee frost flower thing. Her burst is pretty cool, she just summons that big hailstorm. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling Ganyu, chat. I just think she's B. Like, she, she's not as cool as Venti. I think she's here. Yeah, she's not as cool as these four. Yeah, I think she's high B, at least. Oh wait, her burst gives an R shot? Oh shit, oh, sorry, it's plus. No, but yeah, I think, I think, I think high B is fair enough. Okay, Shell, another character I, I don't have. I have to keep going to the character archive on this, yay. Okay, let, let me bring him up. Shell! Eh? Ah! Uh, his outfit is... Uh, it's alright. He has cool tattoos, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is his shirt see-through? Wait a minute, look. I didn't even notice this. He looks like he's wearing a shirt, but like you can see like his skin and tattoo. What the fuck? Or was that just the shirt design? Or was that because that looks like skin color, right? Is that see-through? Why is the bottom half of his shirt see-through, or why is it skin color? That makes it look like it's transparent. It's got a shine on it, so that means it's 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 a shirt. So that's strange. But yeah, he. I think he. I don't get like the well factor from Shell. Um, his animations are sick though, I know that. His animations are really sick, but most of the time you're gonna be plunging anyway. It's kind of the same issue with Beto. Um, but I don't get that wow factor when I look at him either. Uh, yeah, I don't ask Yongli about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking B the same as Ganyu, honestly. Obviously I don't have him, so that's gonna hurt his rating, but I... I think he's... See, I look at someone like Chong Yun, and I think Chong Yun's design looks better than Xiao. So I'm gonna have Xiao. I think it's better than Ether. Yeah, I'm happy with that, honestly. Hu Tao. Okay. Interesting. I feel like... Mm, I kind of wish Iggy was here for this one, because I feel like we'd have very differing opinions about Hu Tao. Now, Hu Tao is another really iconic character. She... Hu Tao is, like, one of the most iconic characters in the game. Right? Easily one of the most iconic characters in the game. 100% next to Klee, Zhong Li, Amber, right? It's Hu Tao. She, she's also that really cool combination of cute and cool, right? Her animations also flaunt that, right? Look, 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 look at this, look. I love that pose she does at the end of her third one, right? She's like, wee! Like that, right? And also, she also does like that at the end, which I love. I loved that. She goes chi when she is, or what she does when she wants to, I suppose. She, yeah, not a, not a unique playstyle because like Yoimi is pretty similar. And I'm pretty sure as soon as someone coming out is going to have a similar playstyle, but she is incredibly iconic and for good reason. She looks really good, very cute. You know that always wins, like Klee, for example. You know. Um, yeah, like it's like her, her demos has as one of the most highest viewed ones as well. It's who tell she's cute, she's sassy, she's funny. Like you look at her, you instantly recognize her. Her right? You look at her, you're like, I know who that is. That's who tell. Like she's one of the easiest characters to recognize. And honestly, at her eyes as well, her flower eyes, that as well. She's just so easy to recognize. It's it's like. I also like I also like that pattern. I never I don't really pay attention to that, but her pattern on her pattern on the cape, that's actually really cool. I never really looked at that. Also her ghosts. Animation's really cool. Swings that around. Oh wait, no, she had a cool pose at the end there. Fuck, I wish I said that. I never really noticed that, but she does have a really cute pose at the end of her burst too. Yeah, it's it's really you can't really go wrong with Hotel, honestly. She's kind of just a win <laughs> in any situation, really, right? I am I'm conflicted because like, is she is she S plus worthy? She's definitely like at least here. 
I think she is better than Kuching. Um, her outfit is kind of meh. Just an. Mm, actually, no, the more I'm thinking about it now. I don't think she's S plus. I don't think she's on the same level as these three. And then when I think back to Kuching, I don't think she's as good as Kuching either. I think of Kuching's burst. She's Virgil. Her burst is just swinging the ghost around, which is pretty cool. But she she is iconic. But that's mainly because of her personality. The personality is part of aesthetic too, though. We, we are taking that into account. I think official, right? Official, so recognizable. Very unique character on what way the way she acts and what she does, her animations, everything. How she looks as well. Same with Tartalia. I think I'm quite happy actually, I think I like her more than Child. I think that's a good spot, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually quite happy, happy putting her next to Fischl. I can I can't see her being this high. I can't. It's not, like, when I put her here, it doesn't feel right, you know? Like, I don't really, like, you put next to Zhongli, it's like, it's Zhongli, man. It's Kli. It's Mona. You can't, you, it's not the same vibe, right? But next to Fischl, like, I think of how cool Fischl is. I'm like, yeah, who tells like that? Who tells that cool? Yeah. No, I'm happy off that. Uh, we'll see what Iggy says when he gets back, though. Rosaria. This is going to be an interesting one, because I'm actually... Because Rosaria had a lot of changes, right? Oh, let's, let's bring her real quick. We just swap Chongus with her. Where is she? Make sure to keep up. Okay, so... Animation's really good. <laughs> like, that's sick. Because like, she was made to be a physical DPS, that's the thing, right? So it makes sense that she has really cool physical attacks like that, right? Her E teleports behind you. You, can't run. you know, that's pretty cool. Her burst, punishment does the big cry AoE. I probably don't really have to show it. It's kind of generic. It's not anything super cool. Um, when you think about it, right? When you actually look at Rosari, she's a nun that is an, ass an, an assassin. That's kind of an oxymoron, right? Like that, that's kind of polar opposites, right? You think nuns are really like, you know, peaceful people. Right, they're, they're fault worshippers of, like, um, God and crap, right? But she's a nun who is an, an assassin. That's kind of cool. Like, that's kind of badass, right? Like, the more you think about Rosaria, the cooler she is. Like, her, in her backstory, I remember reading this because it's a really good backstory. She, was, she grew up with bandits. She was raised by bandits, right? She killed the bandit leader. The bandit leader was getting old and kind of forced her into a fight. She's like, you must fight me, right? She got her vision when she killed her last boss, right? I'm just gonna double check that so I'm not, you know, giving misinformation. Um, yeah, see right here, did he let me replace him on purpose? Could a false father have harbored genuine affection for a child she stole so arbitrary? See right there, there's that last sentence right there, right? The bandits lose an old member as well as welcome a new one in that very night, yeah. She killed the old one, who was kind of like a father figure to her, and that's how she got her vision. That's so bad art. Like, that's so sick. Right? And that, like... A nun assassin... She fits the bill really well. Right? Animations work really well. Now, visually, her outfit... It's meh. Right? It's meh. So I feel like she's probably... I think she's... Hmm, let's, let's have a look at the tier lists real quick. I find looking at the tier lists makes it a bit easier because we can have like a frame of reference i think she's been in the who's in b tier yeah she's definitely i think i'm comfortable with a tier honestly jet yeah i think bottom a high b is she cooler than venti and albedo mm. her animations are really good Yeah, I, I'm kind of going with low A. Yeah, she's not as good as these four, I don't think. Because, like, Sucrose's, Sucrose's E's and Burst look... Sucrose's Burst looks amazing. I wish I showed that. That sh showed that, sorry. Shoe showed. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm quite happy for her being in um, low A. Mainly because she just really fits her aesthetic, right? She's, she's an assassin that's a nun. And, like, when you look at her, those are the vibes you get. And that's just... That's on point, honestly. Yan Yan? Yan Fei? Yan Fei? Okay, I'm just gonna move this a bit for you guys so you can see more of the tier list. There we go. A bit more. 
Okay, there we go. Yanfei. Yanfei. Okay, let me... I haven't played Yanfei in a very long time. Let's have a look, see, real quick. Let's have a look at Yanfei. Bring her out. Why Alphort now? Because of his base? This is technically her base. This is what they actually want her to be, right? So, um, I'm, I'm happy to show that. Like, same with Jeans. I showed Jeans, um, Ready new outfit. Yanfei! Dude, she shoots fireballs. Oh, yeah, she T-poses and sticks her tongue out, dude! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's so... I love that. <laughs> Hell yeah, Yan Yan. Holy shit. I love that. Yeah, dude, like, she shoots it like she, like, spikes the fireball. Like she's playing volleyball. That's actually really cool. That's actually really cool. I really like that. Yeah, that her, her attacks are great. She looks good, too. I like, yeah. Smile. Yeah, she... Mm, I like her hat, because she's a lawyer, right? Yeah. Interesting. Mm, I'm not, I'm not, like... I'm not getting the wow factor from her. Uh, like, her outfit's pretty eh. But I love her attack animations and her personality. Like, boom, boom! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, she does a twirl. She sticks her tongue out when she attacks. Like, that's quite cool. That's cute. She's called that mixture of cool and cute, right? Yeah. Motion to compel. Yeah, she's bouncy, right? Like... But I'm not... Yeah, it's not wow, you know? It's not wow. It's not like, oh, wow, she looks amazing. She's not, she's not iconic, right? So... I mean, iconic is where, like, you put... That's where the S-plus tier, obviously. She's no way near that. I don't think she... She's definitely better than the C. Is she A-worthy? Uh, I don't think so. I think she's just a solid B. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I think she slots in here. Yeah. Make Yanfei wear a mask and she changed her name to Sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Eula. Okay, Eula. Interesting. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Hmm. Eula. Alright, let's bring let's bring the old girl out, huh? I've not played her in a freaking millennia. Holy crap, where's Eula? What's your battle plan? Okay. Now. Eula does look great. <laughs> Eula is uh she, 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 she actually, like, she, she's very iconic when you think about it. Eula's very easy to recognize. You know, one for a, a big, two big reasons, right? But also, like, she dances when she attacks. Like, that's sick. Like, she, like, like, her, her animations are amazing. Oh, look at that. That's so, it's so smooth, like for a Claymore user too. Yeah, like, like and the pose after the fourth one too. Like that. Wait, was she blushing? Was it just me or was she blushing? I think I just... Is she, bl is it just me or is she blushing? Or am I going crazy? I'm back and that's the first thing I hear. She is blushing, she blushes! I never knew that! Did you know that Eula blushes when she does her autos? Look at this, look, watch, watch, watch carefully, alright? Watch. Is that- it's not just me, right? Do you guys not see that? Am I going crazy? I don't think that's still, a, like, a plus factor. <laughs> no, but I- I'm just like- it, it kind of looks like a blush though, I never noticed this. Yes, she's blushing, mm. dude! She blushes on that. On that pose. Do not see that, Kendi! <laughs> that's so... That's so... Yes, for sneeze. Uh, we're, we're up to... You can have a look at the tier list if you want, by the way, when I bring it up. But, um... If you want to add any changes. But... Wh where would you put Eula? Crush. Uh, she's very recognizable. She's very... Yeah. A. I think... You, yeah, that's kind of how I was feeling, too. I don't... She's not, like... On the same level as who's an S? Yeah, I, I can't see her on that same tier. But she, I think the she's top of A, at least. The only reason she's being recognized is because she's hot and she has tights. That's kind but of... But also it. her animations are very fluid. They, they look good. 
fluid. Her N1 to N2 is... Uh, the transition's missing. What? But you don't even notice <laughs> that. You're only saying yes, that because some freaking theory crafted it. No, 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 no. It's hilariously noticeable. Do N1 to N1 to N2. I don't see that. How the fuck does she, like, switch into that? <laughs> But when you're not, when you like, when you just do this, you don't really notice it. And look how smooth that looks. Well, she like dances well, when she attacks. I can't see it. She does a fucking flip. Yeah. Cartwheels, side flip. Shudder. Her ear's pretty generic though. And her and her burst is a big bomb. She's definitely not S tier, definitely. She's not that level, but I do think. Diluc has Phoenix though. I think she is. Yeah, she's not as good as Diluc, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty happy for her being an A. The attack strings do carry, yeah. They look really nice. I do agree. Kazuha! Okay. Kazuha. Kazuha does look really good. Kazuha? Is Kazuha iconic? He kinda is, right? Oh, I've got him in this team. Not iconic. I mean, he is pretty recognizable. He is used a lot, but he yeah. is not like what you call a oh, dude. an icon. Dude, his freaking animations are so good. <laughs> All the, I forgot his normal. Like you never see his normals, but when you actually see them, look how good this is. Oh my god, dude! And he sheaves like the sheath after his E. Like that too. His E is sick. Like that's cool. Yeah. And his burst as well. Adorn my knight. Does the same thing. Cleans the sword off. Oh, holy shit, dude. You never see that because you're too busy, like, you know, moving and fighting to, like, see that sword spin. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> oh, I have to go. Man. Holy crap. I'm going to leave you. Oh, uh, you gotta go? Yep. Alright, guys, say bye to Iggy. He's gonna take off. The the Monster Hunter party is here and I must join to fuck them. Alright, go have fun. We're gonna finish this, cause... Look at that. Dude, that's so sick. Holy crap. Man. Yeah, I... I... Oh man. I, I think after seeing his burst and how he ends that, that kind of changed it for me. I was probably gonna put him in like, high B? I think he's A worthy, right? Yeah, I'm feeling here. I think he's A worthy, right? I think he's at least there. In the middle of A. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that, I'm gonna be real. Goes above Diluc, you think? See, when you think of Diluc, right, like his Fire Phoenix is sick. Mm, Diluc's outfit is amazing too. Like the freaking dark. The freaking Batman of Monster, basically. His autos are really good though. His burst looks sick. It's a big autumn. Actually, nah, I'm starting to agree more. Yeah. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I like him more than these, but not as much as these. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think top of A is fair. Okay. Kamisato Ayaya. Let me just, I'm going to have to resize this again. It's getting quite. Difficult. Ooh. There we go, bring that there. Okay. Ayaya. Ayaya. Let me get. I, I, I always have her old skin. Her, her new skin out, I think, actually. Yeah. I love her new skin. To be working with but you. even then, even even with her new skin, her old skin is also really good. Like her, her old skin. Ayaka is pretty iconic, right? Ayaka looks really cool. The Samurai Princess aesthetic. That's literally what she is. She is- oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I forgot to show it. There we go. Ayaka, the samurai princess aesthetic. That's literally what she is, right? Take flight. Yeah. Her autos. Oh, I love her charge attack. That's one of the coolest charge attacks in the game. Easy. Yeah. Great autos. Probably one of the coolest charge attacks in the game. Like, that's sick. That's AoE too. Like, that can hit airborne enemies, which I really like. Anna, uh, Anan Maruda, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, guys. Yeah, I think... Yeah, dude, she's so iconic. Like, cause she, she was, like, one of the first beta characters, right? She was one of the original characters they made. 
And for good reason, I really love how her hair tie, this thing, it looks like a little wee samurai helmet. Fucking love that. That's one of the, like, the first little details I noticed on her. Ayaka just looks really good. I actually might keep her default outfit on for a while because I kind of miss it. Hey yo, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Always good to see new people here. A for Ayaka? Is she- I think- I'm, I think she's higher than that though, right? Like it's Ayaka. It's Ayaka. She's really recognizable. Like it's kind of like I I know I it's it's way too hard to put her lower than like that low, like an armor dress like Noelle, samurai princess, it's so cool. And oh yeah, her burst too. Look at this shit, dude. She dissolves her sword into a fan, and does a big tornado of snow and ice. Like that's so cool. When that's when that hits things right in front of you that are frozen, it's very satisfying too. Yeah, I, um, yeah, no, I'm feeling S for Ayaka chat. She's so, she looks so good. She's so, she's so good chat, like, she has to be at least here. I don't think, yeah, she's not on this level. I, when it, I put her here, it feels wrong, right? Like she just is just way more iconic and looks just, and designed is just way better than who's in here. You stand by your A, you guys think A? She looks so good though, like I don't know why you guys think she's A. Can you give me an explanation? Because I think, when you think of these characters, and then you think of Ayaka, you just, you just naturally, she's recognizable, she's more recognizable. And her design and aesthetic is so good. Right? Like I, I put Hutao and Ayaka next to each other when I think of like, like the way they present themselves, right? Not higher than Kazoo Boy? The flat bangs kill it for you? <laughs> Maybe bottom of S then. She's too good for A and not good for, for S. I'm thinking low S. But then I think like Ayaka and Ningguang. Ayaka is. Mm, This is his favoritism? Is it though? I'm trying to actually like break it down and be like who actually has the better aesthetic? An Ayaka tier? Ayaya tier? Well, I actually think she deserves bottom of S. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really think of anywhere else to put her chat. But I'm gonna be honest, I really can't. Like, how is this favoritism? It's Ayaka. That's the thing, like, that's all you have to say, it's Ayaka. And, like, you, you, like, you look at Ayaka, you, you, like, you, she's so recognizable, and that alone helps so much. It's like, same vibes as, like, Hu Tao, Zhongli, Kli, you know? If she's S, she has to be standard gatekeep. I do agree with that. I'm gonna keep her at the I'm gonna keep her at the bottom of S until we get through some more characters. But at the moment, I think I, I agree with her being the gatekeeper. But if we get more characters in S, that may bump her down to like top of A, because obviously you know you got to keep it balanced. Um, like you have too many in like A, then you've got to like kind of divert them a bit, you know. So I'm I'm happy with that for now. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, chat, you're gonna have to help me with this one because I'm gonna be incredibly biased with this one. Okay, because Yoimi is my girl. Uh, I fucking adore her. She's like one of my most played characters. I play her so much, especially since Shivarus is out now. Like, it's funny, when I first got Yu- I got Yui on her first rerun, right? I had Yunjin. I played her a shit ton of Yunjin in like vape teams and shit. Then I played her a lot in mono pyro teams, and now Shivarus has come out, which is- Now I play her in overload teams. I play her a lot. Those of you who watch my streams, you know I play her a lot. Like, I usually go to- When I want a pyro character, she's my go-to. Um... But I do need some objectivity in my veins right now, because it's going to be really hard for me to just not straight up put her in S+. Plus. <laughs> so I need you guys to help me with this one a bit. But I will try to be as objective as possible, right? I mean, this is a subject of tier list ultimately, but we do want to try keep it 
sensible, right? Like, I don't be like, I like this character, S plus moment, you know? It's fucking Yoimiya. <laughs> like, that's the thing, like, like, you look at her, it's like, oh, she's perfect, right? Like, like, I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna try some, but like, look at this, right? You do one auto. Hands on the hips, smile on the face. I fucking love her so much, bro! Like, ah! Oh. Like, look at these autos, look at this. Does a freaking backflip. Poosh! Sheaves her bow. Like, <laughs> and her demo, pew, 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 pew. Like, dude, she's, she's bubbly, she's fun. She's like the best friend that we never had, right? Everyone loves Yoimiya. Like, that, that's, that's like a fact. Everyone, I don't know anyone who hates Yoimiya. She's just cool. She's like that kind of character where it's just her personality. Like, she's just so fun to be around. She's the kind of person you just want to hang out with all the time, right? Do you want NA? Like, like, dude. do you, you you go on her talents? She got a happy smile, dude. Like, oh, I'm gonna double crown her, by the way. I'm gonna crown her E. I've been working towards that. I've got 11 of these. Like, firework aesthetic. Her charge attack, having little fireworks is cool. But she doesn't have it when she during her E. Her animations are so good. Like, I love this too. Look at this. Little fireworks that explode. That's so cute. That's so cute, dude. Like, oh man, Yoimi is great. I love I love how her hair bounces too when she walks, like. So bouncy. I love Yoi, dude. It's it's ah, oh, it's so it's like I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to not be biased. It's really hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's she's at least S, right? Come on. <laughs> at least, chat. Come on. Come on, like, like I think she's a, she, she's definitely better than these guys. I think she's... I think next to Hu Tao. I feel comfortable putting her there. Above Kuching? Do you think so? I know Kuching's... Ah, oh, Kuching's so sick though. Like, Kuching's got the Virgil Burst, her normals are just as cool. Her E is a Teleport E Lightning Slash. Kuching's so sick, guys. Kuching is so sick, it's so hard to... Like, that's why I put her as the gatekeeper for S+. Because it's fucking Kuching, she's so sick. But Yoimiya, like, her personality, like, oh my god. She's so happy, she's so bubbly. Great story quest, too, like, oh my god. It's so hard. Bubbly girl over emo goat. Kuching's not emo though. Same as Ayaka for you. S plus for you, Luxie. She's definitely least S. She's definitely least S. But I think like I, I put her next to Fischl because I don't think she's better than Fischl. Fischl's like it's Fischl, the highest S. Mm. See, this is it's tricky, chat. It's really tricky because it's like. There's a lot of things to think about when it comes to this, right? Like, you guys want her above Kuching, because you think of Kuching. You think of, like, her personality as well, but when you think of Kuching's animations, and how- and her aesthetic, and how she looks... Kuching's so sick. I think of her burst, think of her E, think of her normals, they're all great. <laughs> like, right? Like, like, her- her- her base outfit is sick, the purple and white. Like... And Kuching is cute, she does have a good personality. Right, definitely, I definitely think like she should have like a hangout or a story quest. Um, because I remember like, when Kuching, when we had that event with her, that really made her shine, in my opinion, which definitely helps, but a lot of people probably don't remember that. Um, yeah, I'm, I, has to be top three S at least. Yeah, I think, I'm happy of where she is here. I like her more than Hu Tao. Yeah, definitely. Definitely like her more than Hotel. I like her more than these characters, right? Because I'm trying to keep this ordered. But I can't, I'm struggling to put her even, even uh, higher than that, because it's it's Fischl. It's Kuching. It's so hard, like, it, that's really hard to beat. But she's, I, that's a very respectable spot, though. One of my favorite characters in the game, hands down, right? I, yeah, I, I'm comfortable putting her there, honestly. As much as my bias just wants me to put her here, because <laughs> honestly, honestly, <laughs> like I would, I really would like to. But either way, Sayu, I have completely forgotten. Sayu, she roly polies, right? 
uh, I have not played Sayu in Yonks. Holy crap, hold on, let me, um, let me bring her up real quick. Just leave if you like creating landing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that at the end. We'll definitely go through and correct some things as we go through. Like if we get more in A tier, I'll probably knock Ayaka down. Uh, Sayu. Oh yeah. Little ninja girl. Oh yeah. She actually has really cool uh, autos. I love how her first NA she gets stuck in the ground. Her sword gets stuck in the ground, look at that. I love that, that's my favorite thing. Also, Sonic. She's freaking Sonic the Hedgehog. That's pretty cool. I like Sayu. Her, honestly, she's actually really good design. I, I, I just forgotten about her. That's, that's really the only thing. But when we actually look at her, the little leaf on her head, her E is, that's, like, no one else does that. Like, that's, that's, that's cool. That's really cool. Use her as a gimmick character, yeah. She, she, she is incredibly unique. Like, she, she is her own character. That's the thing. Like, you don't look at her, you don't think of someone else when you look at her, right? You look at Sayu, you're like, oh, it's Sayu. Like, it's, 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 she's actually, yeah. She's voiced by Lily Pichu too, who's perfect, by the way. Yeah, perfect voice for the character, honestly. Hmm, like a little ninja girl, right? Like, it, it, it just works. Like, look, her, look at her cute little gauntlet. That's so cute. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm kind of... Her idol's pretty good too. She turns into her little, uh, little pet friend. I forgot what it's called. Her outfit looks like a pajama, does it? This is kind of like a ninja outfit, isn't it? Like, I look at her outfit and I think of a ninja. Hmm. Where would she- where does she belong, though? Like... She- she's definitely not- yet. she's higher than S. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> higher than S. Higher than C. Yeah, she's better than these characters, definitely. But... Is she- is she better than Venti? Is she- oh, whoa, shit, what happened there? Okay, we're, we're okay. I actually pressed back, I think, yeah. Um... Hmm... Is she- no, I don't think- Yeah, no, I can't- she's not A. Yeah, the more I think about it, she's not an A. Is she better than Venti? No. Is she better than Albedo? No. I think she's better than Ganyu, though. Yeah, I think I might slot her there. B, she's cute, that's it. She's pretty- she's- she's pretty, like, unique. But I can't- she's like- Albedo and Venti are pretty cool. Like, they're kind of the gatekeepers to A. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I- I can't really- See, think of another spot of her. Ooh, A? Raiden Shogun? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Now, okay. This... Okay, like, this is Raiden, right? Like, Raiden, one of the most iconic characters in the game. Hands down. It's fucking Raiden Shogun. Like, like, this... I feel like her burst explains all. Now he shall perish. That's one of the coolest bursts in the game. Easily, right? You can't even refute that. That's so fucking sick. And when she slashes, it makes like tears in space. It's so cool. She's so cool. Like, 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 yeah, she... Okay, think about it, right? Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, she's fucking hot, right? Yeah, Booba sort of... Who cares? My favorite thing about her is she's really damn cool. <laughs> and fun as fuck to play. And it's Ryan and Shogun. She's one of the most shattered. iconic characters for a reason. Right. Animations are sick, even for polearm, like she disappears like that. She has a crescent moon charge attack. Like what the fuck? That's so sick. You never see it, but it's so sick. Like that's cool. They just gave her that for no reason, Jet. They gave her that for no reason. Like 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 oh my god, like Like she her outfit is amazing. She's got the cool kimono on. I know what these these strap things on the back are, like the little bow ties, things that go around the waist. And make a bow tie. Like Yoimiya has got the same thing, except hers is a rope. I don't know what those are called, but th that looks cool. So you got the cool cape, like the arm things. I don't know what these are called too, but a lot of uh, Anazuma characters have these. These little wee arm cape things. Like Ayato has that. She just looks so good, dude. I love how her hair glows no when she attacks as well. Venti and Jean-Louis do the same, and Nahida. Farina doesn't know because makes sense. She's not the Archon, but it's it's Raiden, dude. 
Like, I, I, yeah, I, oh, like, it's, it's, you can't, like, you just can't put her any lower than S+. Plus. Like, I am gonna be real. Like, think about it. Her bursts, one of the best, coolest looking bursts in the game, cuts tears through space to attack. That alone is so sick, right? Like, I, like, she has to be S+, plus, right? Like, like, she has to. Like, it, it doesn't, like... Think about it. Like, when you actually sit down and think about it, even objectively, even when you try to move as much bias as you can, so ridiculously iconic. One of the most recognizable characters in the game. Like, I know I say that for a lot of things, but it's so true. Right? It just makes sense. You can't put it anywhere else. Like, it's... It, you just can't. Like, <laughs> like, like, her burst alone. That's why I showed that first speaks volumes, right? Sword out of chest, glow- her eye glows, Shing cuts a tear in space which makes the eye shape. It's just so cool, it's so sick, like it's just, ah. Uh, it's that perfect balance of being cool as fuck and sexy, and that everyone likes that, right? Like, there you go, right? And it's, yeah, she has a sick demo too, I agree. I don't think it's the best, and I don't think it's the best, in my opinion. My favorite is Farina by a huge margin. Um, we'll get to her though. All right, Kujo Sara. Uh, 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 probably not gonna go too much depth about Sara. I'm not crazy about her. Um, I mean, I've got her on my team right now. Flash. Pretty eh. We've got the Raiden Simp in our team. I just don't feel much. Like, cool, she's got the booba flap, like, sure. She her, she got the really weird, uh, shoes. Right, like, let's keep- some, I think they have those to help keep people standing up straight, I think that's all they do. Yeah, I don't... I just don't, hey, like, I don't feel much with her. Right? Like... I... Kinda wanna put her in C. Like, I don't really... Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. I don't feel much with her. It's yokai you, you inspired. I know she has the cool crow, crow wings. Now, if she had, had those when she attacks, like she, I think they come out when she bursts, but if she had them when she like does an auto or a charge attack, or they're used a bit more, I probably would like her more. Yeah, I can't see putting her any higher than that, I'm gonna be real. Like, I, literally, I like the look of Shungling's Pyronado and Guaba more than her kit. Uh, that, that's, that's, yeah, um... Yeah, that's all I can think of. Oh, Sangonomiya Kokomi. Interesting. Okay, you know, I... Mm, this is an interesting one, because... Coco is gorgeous. Coco's really damn pretty. That's like... That's her, like, peak aesthetic taste, right? Like, she is just pretty. She's so pretty. Got, like, her, her, her autos, dude, she's like, she flows so smoothly like a fish. Like that, that's so cool. Like that's so cool. Yeah. She has fish when she attacks. Her autos are really sick. I love the watery bubbliness of it too. That's so nice. Yeah, dude, the water the water effects, the water particle effects and like the bubbles. They look so nice. Look at that. Yeah, and she looks amazing. Like her design is just so nice. It's like, it's just pretty, like it's just beautiful, right? Like that's really like, yeah, like it's just, she, she just looks great. She looks great. Like, that looks so cool, I love the splash. The jellyfish splashes too look nice. Yeah, the little ring it makes. Like. That's the thing, right? Like, she, she's like the baseline for beauty, right? Like, her design, right? But where does she belong? You guys are saying A. Why is that? Is she above, like, Ayaka? See, that's the thing. Is she... That's what I like to do when I make this list. Like, it's like... Does she look... Does she look better? Is she better than these characters? Is she worse than these characters? That's... Usually what I do. Um... I don't think she's better than Ayaka, I'm gonna be real. 
Yeah, I, I, I prefer, I, when I think about Ayaka and what she does, when I think about Beta and Ningguang and, and the hit, I like them more. But I like her more than Kazuha. Oh, Kazuha's pretty sick though. Mm. Oh, see, this is where it gets tricky. Do I put her in A, top of A next to Kazuha or behind Kazuha, or do I leave her on top bottom of S? It's difficult, right? Hmm, top of A? But is she better than Kazuha? That's what I'm trying to decide on. She does get, when she bursts, she gets that really cool ring around her. That's the thing. And she glows a bit, actually. Yeah, the more I think about her, the more I like her more than Kazuha. But I think she's not S where, I think she's top of A. I think she's on par with Kazuha. That's like how close it is. I think these two are top A. These two are like gatekeeping A. Uh, S in my opinion, right? Ayaka and these two. So to be S, you have to be better than Ayaka and these two, basically, right? Like, you can still be S if you're if you're worse than Ayaka, but better than those two, which is quite hard, but we'll see. Aloy, I'm just gonna chuck her in D. Uh, Toma. Okay, this is an interesting one because Toma's auto attacks are like one of my favorite in the game. Toma, like his autos, like the sad thing is you never see them, right? It's another one of those cases where it's just like, oh, we don't get to see these, right? Um, I look at this shit. <laughs> dude, that's so sick. <laughs> oh, that's, like, like, that's sick, dude. Look at that spin. Yeets the lance. Does a little hop and grabs it from the air. Like, dude, that's sick. Like, that's so cool, dude. Toma, like, has a really cool, like, um, samurai aesthetic on him as well. Like, a casual samurai is what I like to call him, right? Don't get too close. He's got really good animations. Engineer and charge attack, which is the same. Yeah. Yeah. But he doesn't have that wow factor that you need to be, like, an A character, I think. I'm feeling B. Like, B is that B? I feel like Toma is the epitome of what a B character is. Like, he's cool? But not WoW, right? I feel like he's probably like in the middle. I think he's here. I like him more than Lumaine. But not as much as Noel. I like Noel more. Actually, I'm putting Noel above. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same with that too. I think Noel's a lot higher. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. Yeah. Arataki Ito, actually, let me... I need to keep uh, resizing this because I'm running out of room. Yeah, let me just make it as big as I can. There we go, okay. <laughs> that should be good enough. Alright. Ito. The boy. The one and only. I'm gonna change song actually, chat. Give me a sec. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I know a good song. Where is it? Hello? Where the frig? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is a good song. If you know this song, you know this song, right? Alright, okay. Ito. We, where would we put Ito? I think... Yeah, Ito... Oh. He's kind of hard, actually, right? Like, I don't really... And the crowd goes wild! Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he does look really cool. Hmm. Ito is C because noodle arm, that does kind of kill it. Like, he's got abs, why does he have noodle arms? Like, that makes no sense, right? Why does Al Haytham, a bookworm, have more, have, have more bicep than the guy who carries a literal Oni club around? Like, come on. God damn, I'm, I'm, I'll give him red horn, actually, just for to match the aesthetic. There we go. Like, we get Ushi. Ushi's cool. I do really like his burst. Yeah, that pose is cool. Okay, yeah, his animations are sick. Oh god, the no- <laughs> Dude, the no- the no stacks charge attack looks really cringe. <laughs> yeah. Mm. See, Ito's cool, but I don't get that wow factor. Like... His design is cool. He, he he does, yeah, he does look cool. His anim his normals are really good. 
I love that spin kick. Kicking that, yeah, oh, I love, I love, I don't know why, I'm a bit of a sucker for kicking, like, claymores to, like, swing them harder, right? That's so sick. Ushi carries? Yeah, Ushi's pretty cool. Ushi looks cool. <laughs> Look at him go. The little man. The little bull. But I'm not getting, I'm not getting, like, hmm. Hmm. I like him more than Venti actually, and I'll bet. Yeah, I think he's better than B. He's either the he's either top of B or bottom of A for me. <laughs> B for me. Uto always reminded reminded me to do pull ups and push ups every day. Um. Yeah, he's he's either the bottom of A or top of B. Is he cooler than Rosario? I'm gonna be honest, Rosario is pretty sick. Like, dude, a, a freaking assassin nun. Like, the more I- that's why I put her in A, because, like, that, that's cool. Inherently cool, right? But, hmm. Is he's not- I don't think he's above Rosario, I'm gonna be real. But is he above Venti? That's the thing. What do you guys think? He's dumb as fuck. It has to count for something. <laughs> I mean, it's in character, right? Makes sense. Um. Ugh. I do like him more than Venti. Like Venti's cool, but I like like Ito. Yeah. The more I th well, the more I compare those two, I lean more towards Ito. I think I might have in the bottom of A. I, I'm quite happy with the bottom of A, actually. Yeah. I'm quite happy with that, because I like him more than the top of B. But I think he's too good for B. I think bottom A. Yeah, I'm happy with that, chat. Alright, Shinha. Okay, this... Mm. Alright. Now, we're gonna have to take our horny goggles off for this, alright, chat? We gotta be- we gotta be proper for this, alright? I know it's hard, alright? But, try your best, alright? Cause Shinhei? It's Shinhei, right? Like, I mean, goddamn. But, like... Lost A, I am hard. Auntie! <laughs> I'm gonna be real, I love Shinhei's personality. I, I love her, like, what, what, what she's like in the game. Um... And, you know, she does look really good. Like, remove the, the you know, the, like, the sexualization of it. She looks nice. Like, the black mix with, like, the white. It looks really... She, she's black and white, basically. Really nice. Got the booba flap. Oh, that's cute. Wait, what's she looking at? A house. What is this thing on her hair? It's like a hair ornament, right? Her hair is really nice. The braids are really pretty. I like her new skin, by the way. I think I, I I actually thought about getting her new skin. Mind be purged, world be saved. Her E's pretty sta standard. Do your master. Oh yeah, she has the spirit thing, right? That's pretty cool. It's still kind of standard though. Like it's not. I'm not getting a wow factor from her. It's very. It's circle impact. It's very. I don't know, right? I don't get. I don't think too much about it you know and when i don't think about their design that much it just means it's not that great i'm sorry to all the shinhei lovers but i don't feel that much right the new skin is definitely an upgrade i 100 i disagree okay i think she's b like i don't i i literally think noelle looks better than her um now her new skin i'd probably put her here maybe even here actually but I think, I think she's in between here. Yeah. Yeah. I do, yeah, no, I'm comfortable with that, because Noelle's a great gatekeeper for me, actually, for this. For, for like, this, like, Noelle, Albedo, Venti, they're all high B. And, like, them until, like, probably Xiao and Aether are, like, mid B. And those two are low B. Um. Honestly, I'm kind of considering putting him down here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to. The more I think about Ether, the more I don't like him as much as Lumine. Um, you know, I'll put him there. 
Because I think of Lumine, Lumine's just, Lumine's really pretty. Right. Aether's just incredibly generic. Actually, no, I'm gonna put him there. Yeah, I like Kaya more. Yeah, these two are about the same, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that, because yeah, cause the more I think about it, right? But when I think of Lumine, I know Lumine's my playable, I picked Lumine personally, but I'm so glad I did, because I have an account where I have Aether, and when I play on that account, man, I'm like, man, I miss Lumine. <laughs> Because Lumine, I feel like Lumine's expressions are better too, personally. But that, that's a different side of the story. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yoon Jin, okay. Yoon Jin is actually... I might have a bit of bias here, chat. I'm going to need your help with this one big time, right? I think Yoon Jin's sick. Yoon Jin is so cool. Like, like hear me out, right? Let's, 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 let's bring her in. Where's the girl? I don't play her as much anymore. Which but my god, her design is outstanding. Dude. Look at her. And look at her autos. She... Like, dude. That's so unique. That's so cool. And you get the music from a charge deck as well. Like that. Oh, the posing's so sick. Her autos are nice. And the fact you use her autos too, like I have I have Fav, so you wanna do autos to get the crit, right? She looks so good. She's so pretty. Right? Like I wanna play her more. Like like that's the thing, like me looking at her right now makes me wanna play her more. And that's kinda huge. That's how you know they're designed really well. Like, when you look at a character, you're like, man, I want to play them more, right? That's why I see it if, like, um, I forgot who it was, but if a certain character, like, if Shin, yeah, if Shin Yan got a better skin of her hair down, I would want to play her more, right? A Dango hat is her signature, yeah. Just like, oh, that's so cool. Sometimes I finish, like, I literally finish the combo just so I can see that. She gets the cool poses. I really like to hang out, by the way. I finished a hangout recently. Just a spin. Oh, it's so good. They put a lot of love into this character too. Because she's the opera singer, right? Like, she looks so good. She's so... Yeah, I... Yeah, no, I... I can't chat. I, I have to put her really high. I think... She's definitely S. Right? She's at least S. But we're... Yeah, I like her more than Coco. Yeah, no, I like her a lot more than Coco. Um... Yeah, the sound effect at the end of the string, like, it's such a, it's such a, it's a her thing, right? It's very unique, and being unique goes a long way. But is she more than Ayaka? Yeah, I don't think she beats Ayaka. Like, the more I think about Ayaka, I'm like, nah, I do like Ayaka more. But I do like her more than Coco and Kazuha. Yeah. You see how this goes, the more we get, well, the deeper we get into it, right? Like, beforehand we were, like, borderline off Ayaka, but the more characters we're getting now, we're more like, okay, Ayaka, yeah, she deserves S, right? It's quite funny how that works. Yeah, no, I'm actually happy for her being at the bottom of S, because she's better than who's an A. She's better than, than Coco and Kazu. And yeah, she just looks so good. Ayaka's really the minimum of what an S character. Yeah, and then now we've got Yoon Jin, who we all agree is worse than Ayaka, right? Lesser than Ayaka. Now she is like the gatekeeper of what an S tier character should be like. So I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Alright, Yai Miko. Hmm. I feel like this is a character we're going to be quite divided on. I, I, that's my guess at least. Oh, also her idols. They're, they're amazing as too. There's, that's something I should probably talk about more. Um, frickin', let me just replace, sorry, I, I like having my teams I being proper, <laughs> feels weird having disorganized characters. Yeah, Miko. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Emerge. Right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, she's S plus here? <laughs> You're too biased? Because see, that's the thing. If you like Yai, you really like Yai. Like, I, I I think she's cool. I, I'm not crazy about her though, right? I'm gonna be real, I mainly pulled Yai for her playstyle. I, I love Tara characters. Right now. 
Enough. Being able to leave turrets there, switch off, and have, yeah, it's, it's fun. I I enjoy that. I find her fun to play, but I'm not crazy about her personality or character design. But she does look good. I'm trying my best. I'm not getting the well factor chat. Like she does look good, but like it's not. The outfit is kind of mid. I do agree. It's not amazing. She's got the arm flaps like Raiden and, and Ayato. Hmm. Yeah, her personality is pretty cool. It's definitely, it's definitely um, different, right? But I'm not crazy about it. That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I like her more. I like her than the majority of characters. But hmm, she does. She is. She does like the Fox Kitsune vibe is really cool. I do like how her vision is is like an earring. That's really cool. I'm really trying, chat. I don't get the wow factor from her. Okay, let's see. Now, it makes it a lot easier when you bring up the tier list and have a look, right? So, when we, when we look at the eye, is she better than Venti? Is she, like, like, is she better than Yunjin? No. Is she better than Kokomi? No. No, 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 no. No. No, I don't, I don't think she's... Is she better than Venti and Noel? I kind of want to put her here. Hmm, Venti, Venti. Clear S plus, yeah, Clear's S plus, yeah, Clear's design is ridiculously good. Like, Clear's iconic, like, Clear's so recognizable. And that's what we're trying to go for here. Hang hack, hey there! Always good to see you guys. Definitely an A tier for you. Yeah, a lot of you guys are saying A tier. I feel like... I do like her turrets. Her burst is cool. Oh, oh yeah, no. Let me look at her normals real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be nice, because I know a lot of you guys like Yai. So I'm gonna... let's... Her normals... She does have that like, cool little wand thing, right? Okay, that is pretty cool. Yeah... She does have a really unique personality, right? Like, there's no one, there's no one like Yai. That's the thing. And her animations and playstyle does kind of reflect that. Her burst is really sick. Um, I'm gonna be real though. Her demo, uh, her, uh, her character demo, is one of my least favorites. One of my least liked, actually. I, I, I didn't like her demo at all. Uh, I thought it was really lame. That's just me though. It doesn't mean I don't like her character. I thought her demo was really underwhelming. Um. This is difficult, because I... Hmm... Kit's somewhat crept in. Or oh, the kit's like more like aesthetic, right? Like... Like for example, Zhongli's here because his burst is sick, right? Like, like Raiden's at the top because it's Raiden. <laughs> like, like, you know, like, like Raiden's one of the best characters in the game, but that's not why she's there. Like, that's, that's, that's the point, right? Um, uh, I still like Yai Miko, but would still put her high A, low S. Uh, Yai Burst is really good. No, I do agree with you. That's kind of what's carrying her for me at the moment. Okay, I think she's at least low A. Like, the more I think about her, the more I do like her more than Venti and Albedo and such. Is she better than Ito, though? She's not as good as Kokomi and Kazuha. I'm just gonna be flat with that. She's not top of A for me. I think I'm quite happy with her being bottom A. Like, I look at Jean and Lisa and Sucrose, I'm like, is she better than them? And I just can't. Like, I think of Sucrose's animations, like Sucrose's absorption test, like the cool circle with the little wee butterfly in the middle. You know, it looks so good. And she has that cute pose, you know, like, Sucrose is great. She's like a, such a solid A tier, honestly. I'm gonna put her here, actually. Um, I think she's better than Eula, though. Man. I 
Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to leave her. We can change this as we go though. Like if we get another A tier character, like are they better than Yai, you know? Then we can change that around. Kind of like how Ayaka was, right? But I'm quite happy for her being there for now. Ayato, okay. Okay, I think Ayato is actually sick. Um, like Ayato, Most dude, humans could have the entirety of this. is badass. Okay, hold on, let me let me bring him out real quick. Where's my where's my Oh, there it is. I use usually I diode is here for some reason. Um, where is he? There he is. <laughs> it's like wow. one of my favorite teams in the game, by the way. I love this team. Dude, look at this man. Look at this man. He look. It's why I pulled him. Actually, he looks so freaking good. <laughs> also, Ayaka's older brother. He looks so freaking good, dude. Like, dude, dude, his burst. Kamisato Aki, Suyu. Look at that. It makes like flower petals. Look at that. And like when you eat with them. Cascade. Like that's really unique. Like like like. He does have a bit of circle impact, but his E is cool. He looks great. Like dude, I want a suit like that. <laughs> the white suit, the white and purple, like the purple insides of the cape. God damn! Like the more you look at Ayato, the better he gets. Like that's cool, dude. Oh, he's got the beauty spot too. Well, Ayato's a pretty man. Like holy crap! God damn! I pull Ayato just because of JP. Oh, dude, he, he's the same voice as Dimitri from Fire Emblem, and I love that too. I forgot his name. Chris Hackney, yeah, great voice actor. Ah. Oh, and the Boba Boy. Oh yeah. That's such a cute quirk of him, dude. <laughs> I love Ayato, bro. I'm so glad I pulled him. It's funny because, like, I don't play him as much anymore because, you know, Nuvalet came out, but he does have his niches, which is always a good time. Like, he works with Yelan, for example, whereas, um, Nuvalet doesn't. Like, I think this Hyperloom team is better than a Nuvalet Hyperloom team, for example. The Japanese a few three piece suit is sick. Yeah, dude, it looks. He looks great. If there's one tiny nitpick. I think his legs are a bit too skinny. I think that's the only nitpick I have. I feel like he needs to have a, he needs a bit more chonk on his thighs. That's really it though. Like if you cut that out of frame, I look how look how dapper this man looks. <laughs> I have to stifle a smile every time I remember the look on my retainers' faces when I informed them of my plans today. Panic stricken, but unable to He's a the too. to say anything in opposition. <laughs> like I don't know if you guys remember her story quest, but it was pretty yes. good. I mean, like I remember. Talking to someone on Discord about it, like someone just didn't like Ayato, and I'm thinking, why? He's cool. But yeah, I I, I really like Ayato. I think he looks great. Um, I think is he better than Yunjin and his sister though? Probably not. I I'm feeling I'm feeling I like him more than Dialogue. I like him more than Kazuha. Yeah, I do like him more than Kazuha. I I I think of Kazuha. I'm like, nah, Ayato just. Do I like him more than Coco? Ooh, that's tricky because Coco's really really good too. He's so he just looks so good though. I right? like. I'm thinking there honestly next to Coco. They can yeah. Mm. No, I I'm, I'm I'm actually settling for that actually. The more I, yeah. But Hydro characters win though, bro. <laughs> Hydro characters have like such pretty animations and everything, right? Oh man. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty satisfied if we're here as there. Yeah. Oh, everyone like wait, what, what do you mean, Hinkak? Finally some your everyone loves Joy. Dude, I I I you always like one of my favorite characters, right? And I had to tell chat to make me as objective as possible because I just wanted to do this, <laughs> right, chat? <laughs> but I had to like be as like you know as hard on myself as possible for uh, when judging Yoi because I love her to death. Um, she's my girl. Uh, okay, Ye Lan. Okay, this is another character. I, I think. Okay, this is from just base level, just when I think of Yelan, I think Estia, right? But we're gonna study her first. I think Yelan is fucking sick, and she is on my team. Okay, firstly, 
I love her jacket, by the way. Fucking love her white jacket. It gives her such a posh, like, I'm a high society woman, you know? Also, kicks her frickin' bow, the pose, frickin' her E, <laughs> and she has one of my favorite bursts in the game. Look at this shit. Here comes the catch. That pose. Gosh, she's... Yelan screams style. She, scr she oozes style. And she's one of the funnest characters in the game to play, in my opinion. All right? I'll be honest, I'm not crazy about her personality, but goddamn, she looks good, feels good, and is fun to play, right? A goddamn dude. She has a great demo, too. Like her E. I, I literally got E. I, I got C1 Yelan because her E is so damn good. Oh, you never use these, but. Goddamn, she's so cool, dude. <laughs> I'm not a fan of her jacket. I wish it was bigger. Really? I think it's fine. I think it's fine personally. Do you know, also, I like the backstory with her her jacket. She um stole it from the Fatui, I think, right? Who like we're trying to slay a monster. I, th I think I'm not hundred percent sure. Hmm. Yeah. I, um, I really like Yelan. Yeah. She, she's definitely at least S, right? She's definitely up here. But, but, is she better than Yoon Jin? Yeah, I think she is. Is she better than Ayaka? See, that's where it gets trickier for me. Actually, I'm going to put Ayaka above Beto, actually. I actually like Ayaka more than Beto. Yeah, I think aesthetically Ayaka does uh, surpass Beto, actually. But is Ye yeah, Yelan's better than Beto. Yeah, definitely. I love Beto's pirate vibe, too. That's another big reason. Beto's design is sick. Is she above Ayaka? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like her more than Ning. I like her more than Chao. The more I think about it, right, the easier it gets. Is she above Hu Tao? Oh, Hu Tao's pretty... God, her burst is so sick. Game's up. Fun's over. Has the sick pose. God, I love, like, the strings that show up. God, yeah, she's so sick, dude. Oh, and when she, you get enemies with her E, gotcha, you know? Like, oh, God. Between Yoi and Hotel, so both can vape. <laughs> uh, I don't like her more than Yoi. I think Yoi is like the where I draw the line. I think Yoi is cooler. I think Yoi's design is better. But uh, yeah, I am starting. I think I think I kind of like her here too. Cause I do like her more than Hotel, but not not as much as Yoi. Yeah, her pose is iconic, it is sick. I see so many stuff on my- so many, uh, when she first came out. Yeah, those really cool shots people made on Twitter where, like, they'd have Eula, like, do that pose. Next to Yelan doing her burst, and they'd both be, like, doing the poses together. there. Look, it was great, I loved it. Okay, no, I'm happy with her there. Kuki! This is another one. Okay, I think she is another S tier. Kuki is awesome. I- I also on this team, that makes it easy. Kuki's design is sick. Holy shit. When this first character, when the character first came out, I'm like, I have to have Kuki. She looks so good. One, she's got freaking cake, she's got a whole bakery down there, but goddamn. The mixture of gold and purple and black. Oh, it's, it's more like a, like a nice, yeah, like a red. Oh, it's she, the, the green here, the mask. She looks, the ninja Esther, she looks so good, dude. Like, holy shit. She's. I'm gonna be honest, she's one of the best design characters in the game, purely from a visual standpoint, right? Her just, like, like, I want to draw her. That's how good she looks. I uh, eggplant, yeah. Right, like, oh, and dude, her normals. Looks, uh, like, dude, I freaking love it, right? Sword, she has a backhanded sword pose. Throws kunai, drops down, looks up. Like that, I'll get a bit of shot of that for you guys. I love that. We don't do the final hit, but when you do the final hit, Teleport attack. 
Has the hand on the hip. Sheath the sword. Fucking slick. That's cool too. I like that. Her E is really cool. And her burst? Out of my way. That's pretty cool too. Obviously not amazing, but honestly, the rest of Kuki carries like crazy. Also, Kuki's got a great personality too. But I feel like we, we should focus on that less than what we than on other points, right? Kuki fucking sick, dude. I love Kuki so much. Look at her. Like, 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 she's what I picture like a ninja, right? Like a cool ninja. Her animations, idols, like, oh, Kuki's sick, chat. I like her hand on the hip when she attacks like that, too. Yeah. Kuki's sick, chat. Like, Kuki is just, oh, <laughs> god damn, man. I can't get enough of Kuki. Holy shit. Um... I think she's S tier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's definitely above these characters for me. She's definitely above these. Oh, more than Hutel. That's where it gets hard. That's where it gets hard. She's definitely in the upper echelon of S tiers, I think. Better than Hutel. Honestly, yeah. I, I, yeah. But better than Yela, I mean, that's kind of where I'm starting to... Yeah, I think that's a good spot for Kuki, eh? Yeah, S tier's getting, like, kind of, like, divided right now. Like, you've got, like, the upper S tier who are really hard to beat, and you've got the lower S tier who you can quite comfortably, like, agree or disagree on, right? Yeah. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I think that's pretty... ...fair. Because I can't, I can't, I can't put Kuki above Yelan, it's, it's a bit too hard. Because Yelan's just got everything. Yeah, Yelan, Yelan's like... ...everything except... ...uniqueness. Because she's quite, like, she's similar to Sing Cho in regards to, like, Kit. And the way her attacks work, right? And like Tartalia also has really cool bowstring attacks. Yoimiya too. I like Yoimiya's normals more than Yelan's, for example. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm pretty happy with that. Happy with that chat. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, Haizo. Dude, I. <laughs> I forgot what Haizo. He punches shit, right? He punches shit. I think. I think. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, he's meh. I wonder. Ugh. Hold on, I'm just gonna put a different song on real quick. Yeah, I'll put this one on. I let's let's bring out. I have not seen Heizo in a very long time. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where is he? Uh, there he is. I'm on the case. I forgot he existed. I'm gonna be real. Oh, yeah, he has a punch. Okay, that's sick. His autos, yeah, he's, he's the first, like, male catalyst user, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. His burst is like a big... Yeah, big wind kick. I know, like, no one plays him because he's just a worse Sucrose. Yeah, like, his autos are cool. But his... Aside from that... Eh. You know, like, that's that's really it. Like, aside from his autos, he is eh. So, I think, I think, I like him more than Chi Chi, though. So, I think, yeah, I think bottom of B. Do I like him more than Chao? Actually, no. I, I actually quite like him at the bottom of B, because I do like him more than Chi Chi. Yeah. I use the one punch. That's just as, like it's charged. It's charged up here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I don't think it would change regardless. Yeah. All right, Tignari. Our boy, Tignari. Let's see. He's pretty cool, actually. Um, let me get Sucrose back in there. My experiment. Here we go. We'll succeed. Tignari. Okay, yeah, we got the freaking um, what, what's, what animal is he based on? It's like a, kind of a fox, right? I think. I'm not 100% sure. He holds them both sideways, which is cool. A phoenix? 
Run with the force. He does look really cool, actually. Hold on a second. Why does is he wearing two different shirts? Look, look, look at the side of him. He's wearing like a skin tight long sleeve shirt. Then he's got like a normal t-shirt, a striped t-shirt on. That's very strange. Why is your shirt so strange? Yeah, he's very um, what's the word? Asymmetrical. Well, kind of, because his shorts are the same. But like the middle of him is very asymmetrical. I'll uproot you. Hmm. I don't get much of a well factor from Tunari. He is very I do I do like his hair. His hair's my favorite part. Because like the ears are little wee green bits, you know. He's got like the side curtains. I kinda like I really like that. But I'm not getting much more from that, really. I'm not really getting much more from that. What do you guys think? It's not like like I don't like I think he's B. I think he's I think Chong Yun's probably more. Kind of want to put him like I think around here actually, next to Xiao. I think that's a good spot for him. Yeah, Kole, Kole though, for another different bow character. Oh, there we go. I think Kole looks really the value good. Value of knowledge cannot simply be quant. Um, do I have her somewhere? I think. I'll just replace Kirara with her real quick. Wait, no. Oh, okay, I thought she was on the rising team. Okay, Kole. Trainee Forest Ranger Kole, reporting. Very cute. Very cute. Yeah, she she looks good. I love her green hair, purple eyes. Very good combo. Hi. Boomerang. Yeah, I really like Kole, actually. The voice actor is perfect as well. That's another thing. Who's who's her voice actor? Christina Costello. Yeah, she she's like I can't imagine anyone else being Kole. Like the voice just fits perfectly, right? Like a glove. Oh yeah, Kole's tragic backstory. Yeah, Kole. Yeah, I I, I think Kole looks really nice. Dude, I remember when her demo first dropped. It's got that. It's, got, it's an absolute banger. You know. So good. So good. Obviously she's not amazing, but I think I think she's high B. I think like I think she's actually there. Yeah. I'm quite happy with her there. Dory, um ugh. I'm gonna be honest, chat, I really don't care about Dory. <laughs> Can I just put her in D? <laughs> okay, no, I won't do that, because like Dory actually design wise, Dory's actually quite good. I hate her personality, but you know. <laughs> Some things we just gotta do. So, what's the deal? But uh, Dory actually, you no, know, her design is good. Dory actually looks like the genie aesthetic, right? Also, thanks for the follow. Welcome, guys. Yeah, like that is incredibly unique. That's actually really cool. Yeah, uh, Dory, she's pretty cool. I think like, I think like, yeah, visually Dory is a really pleasing character to look at. Like, oh, I love her little glasses too. I, I, I it's kind of like the Kafka problem where the glasses are too small, <laughs> right? You know, Kafka's got the same issue. Glasses that if you see them put down, they don't cover her eyes. But it's just for, sh just for looks, right? And it, it just works really well. She has that mixture of like an, she's like an old man genie stereotype, right? But she's a little girl, which it, it's quite cool. I actually, yeah, she looks really good actually. And then, I no, she 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 has the wow factor. Like you look at Dory and think, oh damn, you know, she actually looks really sick. You know, like her animations are great too. It's a it's a shame her personality is such ass. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a. Uh, a rate a ranking of like the most disliked characters in the game and she was at the very top <laughs> which is quite funny um but no i think visually i kind of want to put her in a chat i i think like she gives me the wow factor I, i'm kind of thinking there honestly Hmm. Supreme Beyonder, hey there, I love that March emote by the way. 
Hey there. Ice to meet you. God. <laughs> March. We all love March. Yeah, I, I'm quite happy with that, eh, chat? I can't really... Hmm. I'm actually gonna move. Yeah, BT is getting a little bit packed right now. Hold on, let me resize this a bit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm actually gonna move Heiser down here because it's getting a little bit packed. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. Shell, shell, shell's, shell's a bit too cool to be any lower than B. Yeah. Alrighty, Sino. I actually don't have Sino, so we're gonna have to go back into the good old um, character archive to view this. Sino is actually sick, yeah. I love the Anubis helmet. Like, that's really cool. And when he does his ult, like, that helmet fully comes on. Yeah. Sino is pretty sick. Like, this, like, yeah. Yeah, see? That is cool. I actually really like that. See, I actually, um, I didn't pull for Sino because I knew I'd never play him. And the reason for that is I, um, I, I just play Kuching. I just play Kuching if I want to play Sino, you know? Oh, that's actually really sick. Sino is actually pretty iconic too. Like, he was the Sumeru, Sumeru character shown in, like, that story teaser trailer that uh, Hoyo did, right? So I think he's, um, he's pretty sick. Can you add a row uh, any more larger than B tier? Um, I think what I would, I, I can't, what I could do actually, we'll do high, we'll do B plus and B minus. Because I think it's actually quite easy to separate the tiers. Right? Oh, 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 oh not that one. There we go. So B plus, B minus. Because that's going to make it a bit easier to separate. Because I feel like it starts from there. So these are all basically still B tier, right? It's just separating them to make it a bit easier. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that, that, that looks better too. Okay, Sino. No, I think, yeah, speaking of B, I think Sino is definitely a B+. Plus. Um, I think he's the top, actually. I like him more than Venti, but not as much as Jai. Yeah, I'm quite happy putting uh, Sino there. Yeah. So I think of B+, plus and B- minus is just the same tier. But we're splitting them into halves, basically. Like, top of B, bottom of T, basically, right? Yeah, the Sino animations are great. Yeah, I actually am quite happy with him there. See, I don't even have him and I speak of him that highly. That's kind of volumes right there. Alrighty. Candace. Now, Candace. Holy crap, she is gorgeous. Also an absolute banger of a demo, by the way. No, but for realsies. Candace's design. I love the, um... Anything you need delivered? Where is she? Can he, 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 she is. She's in my virgin team. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Jokes, dude. Holy crap! Candace's different eye colors. The Egyptian style of it. It's, she looks so good. She looks so good. The shield. Yates the lance. <laughs> Do your work. Shield bash. Hear my prayer. That's really yeah. cool. Her animations ah. are sick. Flee. A like Candace is just gorgeous. Like that's the thing, eh? Like you, you really can't go wrong for design like that. Like whoever, whoever cooked that up, <laughs> like was on something else, because she's visually just so damn impressive. I look at her, dude. Just absolutely gorgeous. Like that, that's that's all I can say, right? Guild. Like. She's one of those characters you just look at, and you're like, damn. You know, you go, damn. Like, she has that wow factor. I, yeah, no, you know what? I think, um, let me actually turn it up. She has that wow factor for me. Right, chat? I think you guys can all agree. I think she's at least A. Um, I like her more than Yai. Uh, I like her more than Ito. I like her more than, yeah, I'm actually going... Yeah. 
yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, Candace just looks so damn good. I'm gonna put it there, yeah. No, yeah. She... Yeah, she just looks so damn good, guys. Like, it's just like... She hasn't got, like, the animations to match Kazuha. Like, Kazuha is kind of what keeping them near is his animations. They're freaking sick. Like, the wind and shit, the autumn leaves aesthetic of Kazuha is what keeps them so high. But Candace just visually is so damn impressive. Like, whoever cooked up her design deserves a medal. Like, I'm sorry. Like, like, freaking amazing. Nilu. Nilu. Nilu, Nilu, Nilu. Oh, let me uh, change something right, real quick. Okay. Nilu. Now, she is... She's kind of like another Candace, actually. Um, she might even be a better Candace. Because Nilu? Really damn pretty. Like, she's got that... She, she's based off like a Persian dancer aesthetic. Right. Really pretty. Like, look at this. Incredibly unique. Dances when she fights. A sword dancer, which I love. I look at that. On me. Lovely burst, like that looks cool, like it's a big flower. I actually really like... I actually really like Nilu. I think Nilu... And when you attack too. Look at that. Like that's great. Look at that. Man. I haven't played Nilu in a while actually, I haven't played a Bloom Team in a while. Mainly because it hasn't really been that good in Abyss. That's the reason, but when it's good in Abyss again I'll definitely try it. I think Nilu's great. Like, she's very pretty. Like her, no, seriously, like her design. Like, do you remember when we all first saw her in like the live stream? We we're all like, oh wow, she looks great, you know? Yeah, I, I. Yeah, Nilu's Nilu's pretty, pretty damn high, honestly. Mm, the question, uh, she's definitely a. I love to use her more on field once with Farina. Yeah, that's true actually. You could build her as like a DPS with Farina, right? That's actually, that's actually a great idea. I kind of want to do that. That makes me want to play her. Hmm. Like a Nilu Bloom team, but with Farina. So you do, you build her as like a DPS, right? So you're doing Bloom damage, and like her personal damage is good. That'd be Pog. But where is she? Yeah, I like her more than Candace. Because she dances, right? I think Candace's visual design is better, but Nilu's everything else is better. Right? Her design's better than Kazu, her, her animations are great. I actually, yeah, no. Yeah, I like her more than Coco. I'm thinking top of A chat. I'm thinking top of A. Like, that, I, I feel comfortable with that. Shit, maybe even, maybe even, maybe even here. Because Nilu kind of has everything, right? Like, she's pretty, really good design. Like, the red hair is so striking. She's got the horns. Persian dancer aesthetic. Dances when she attacks, right? Shoots freaking big water jet laser beams. Like, what the, yeah. I don't think she's more than Ayaka, though. Like, Ayaka's still, Ayaka's kind of like that iconic wall, right? <gasps> Really recognizable, but I think I'm happy with Nilu there. I think she's divers deserving of S tier. Yeah, kind of like how, she, how good she is in the game too. She's really good. Nilu Bloom is nuts. But no, I'm I'm quite happy with her there. Cause like the more you actually think about Nilu's design, like the sword dancer, S, like that's that's so sick. I look at her, really pretty. Now personality wise. Not the best character, she's a bit bland, but outside of that, great character design. Also, I love her pose. I love her pose here too, in the thing. Alright, moving on though. Nahida! Ooh! Nahida, a little radish girl. Okay. Oh, she's on this team, perfect. Nahihi! Uppies! Oh, she's so cute. I love Nahida. See, this is difficult because... I'm sure we all feel the same about this. We all have a soft spot for Nahida because she's just a really good character. <laughs> like, like her, her, like, oh my god. 
we all love Nahida. It's 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 Nahida, dude. Like that scene when she's crying when she has to like delete Ruka Devado, literally her mother. Oh my god, dude. Nahida's really iconic too. Like, oh my god. Oh, dude, freaking her autos. Do you know what my favorite thing about her is she's the Archon of Dendro, the god of Dendro, which is all plant and nature and stuff, right? Yet her normals. Are really mechanical like she's stepping on keyboards that's so that's so interesting yet i love it and like her charge attack is literally dragging a mouse look it's dragging her mouse like she's on a computer like like what <laughs> that's so sick like holy shit and she takes pictures like come on makes a massive tip oh my god yeah the more i think of her the more i want to s plus her Oh man, yeah, yeah. The Dendro Heart is the fight, yeah. Yeah, and she winks, like, oh my god, dude, Nahida's so great. Everyone loves Nahida for a reason. God, like, her demo is also one of the best. This might hurt a little, like, that's so in character, too. She, like, like, her design is great, too. She has that kind of. I think of a fairy when I look at her, like a little fairy child, you know, which makes sense. Oh, and the swing. Do you know one thing I'm sad about this animation though? Originally, she had a bit, she had her eyes closed and a smile on her face when she did the animation. I'm so sad they took that away because it looks like she looks so happy, right? Oh, look at her. Oh, she's so lovely. Oh, okay, we got her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like when you get when you when you like get to that level of Nahida, you can't help but just yeah. No, I actually think I'm gonna put Clea at the bottom here. Actually, um, yeah, I think she's better than not. I don't think she's right in level. I think Jean Lee's here. Yeah, I mean, see, it makes sense for the Archons to all be that high. Like, it makes complete sense because they're the Archons. They're made to be superb they're made to be the best of the best right and um like for example i think if there's a reader that's going to a character that's going to top right and it's going to be farina we'll get to that though um but holy shit although that might be huge bias um but moving on layla 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 now then i mm, i haven't seen layla in a while why Mona is plus? Oh, because Mona's uh, got an extremely unique uh, design, basically. Like, like she has that spacey, watery goodness, really. <laughs> and her outfit. Like, like, the astrology? Astrology mixed with water just creates the most beautiful, like, aesthetic, you could say, right? Like, it just, like, like when I was, her burst is just a big starry, like, splash. It's... Like, the more we played around with Mona, the more we're just like, oh man, this is great, you know? <laughs> like, like, you couldn't... It's difficult to not put her in S+, really. Um, wait, who am I doing? Layla. Layla, Layla, Layla. Layla, Layla. I like seeing Ayaka's... I might play Ayaka in her original outfit for a while, because I've been so used to her Fontanian. I applied for vacation. <laughs> you remembered. <laughs> Layla. She, okay, yeah, her design's actually really great. I love her hood. She also does astrology, right? That's why she's got like the starry. She she actually looks really great. Yeah. The night is cold. She sleeps. I'm not a fan of her personality. I think she's a bit bland. Like just a sleepy, sleepy girl aesthetic, right? Split multiple personality disorder. Not really a big fan about that. But she's really striking. Like her design. It's got the Candace style, right? You go, oh wow, she looks cool. Like you like you like that, right? Stars, shine for me. Stars, shine for me. Little sleepy thing. Not now. Yeah. Yeah, she she looks really unique, but that's all she has going for her, I think. I don't think like her animations are pretty cool, but I'm not I'm thinking yeah. Mm. I think yeah, she's definitely B plus. She's definitely higher than B minus. Uh, she's better than Shinhei. I, ugh. Kole's pretty cool. I'm happy you're fat, actually. Yeah, I agree, Greyfax. 
I can't put her above Kole. I Kole's boomerang, her personality, she's cute and also cool. Yeah. Oh, you're into me, Poof, uh, Luxie? Oh, rip. Welcome back, though. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. All right, next. Oh, let me bring up the thing again. Wanderer. Okay. I don't have him. I did try to get Wanderer, but I missed and got Tignari. Rip. Um, but I, I really like Wanderer's design. Where is he? I still want to try to get him, by the way. I don't have an Animo DPS. That's the only niche I don't have in the entire game. I don't have an Animo DPS. I don't have... Well, I have... I have freaking Punchy Boy, but I don't want to use him. Um, I don't like Shao's gameplay, so I really wanted Wanderer. Um, but he's still a character I do hope to get in the future. He looks great. I love his hat. If there's one thing, one thing I wish they kept. One thing, chat, I wish they kept was the hat views. Do you remember before he became the Wanderer? His hat had, like, the views. That's cool, too. Relax. <laughs> What a little trickster. But no, yeah, he looks great. His animations too, like a step on me freaking bursts. Wonder is sick, dude. Yeah. I did wish I got him. I did really want Wanderer. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, he is he is cool though. I do really like him. He's visually impressive. Yeah, I think he's at least a. I like him more than Yai, I like him more than Ito. Yeah, he just goes up and up for me, the more I think about it. Yeah, I like him more than Sucrose. Mmm, yeah. Yeah. Dude, he shoots literally wind blades. Does he match Ayato's drip though? God, he can fly. He makes black holes. Freaking, he shoots wind blades, he can attack in the air, like that's so sick. But Coco. <laughs> like, that's the thing, like I think of Coco, like Coco is just so damn pretty. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm happy from there actually. Yeah, yeah, Dory, Dory's design is great. Like little, little gen, like, like, she makes me think of like an old man merchant. She's like, an old man merchant mixed with a genie. But a little girl, <laughs> and, and, like, and, and it makes just this really unique looking character, and I think she just looks really cool. But I'm happy of Wanderer there. Faruzan, Ole Miss Little Triangles. Um, let's have a look at Faruzan real quick. What constellation is my Faruzan actually? I think she's like C4. That's another thing too, If I get when I get C6 Faruzan I'd love to get a Wanderer. Um, yeah, C4. She looks cool too. Dude, Hatsune Miku. Holy shit, dude. I actually really like Farazana's design. The more I think about it, the more I like her. Need the help of an elder, huh? Yeah, Farazan really recognizable. Too late for regret. I like her, yeah. She's very sassy. Huh. Alright, your hordos are okay. They're not that impressive. About that. Like it's it's pretty good. Like it's not. I'm not super impressed. I like her burst though. Gears of the storm, right? I actually want to see it. I really like her burst. It looks quite cool. Mahizo does 125k one punch. Damn, one punch. Do you know what I think that bothers me? You turn the camera around. Like those are triangles, right? I think I think they're like 3D triangles, but they're not. You turn your camera around and it's just 2D a 2D image, yeah. I keep thinking you're gonna see the triangle like rotate, <laughs> but you never do. I'm just like, oh, disappointing. All right, let's see. Let's see. Any enemies? Oh, there is cool. Yeah, we'll see about that. Give me the energy. Mazuhu. Oh yeah, mine's not built. <laughs> that that yeah, is just from Fev. I remember, like, you gotta build this carrot of, like, 300% ER. It's ridiculous. But yeah, is there another one? Oh, hey there, buddy. Energy. Kazuhu. Oh, wrong character. Shit. Damn it. Dare to mess with me? 
Give me your energy. Oh my, you're like half health. Come on. We'll see about that. There we go. Okay. Your hip burst is actually quite cool. Gears of the storm. I really wish that did damage. Because that, that reduces their res, but I wish it did damage. Yeah, she's pretty cool though. I think Farazan's pretty cool. What do you guys think what do you guys think Farazan should be? Let's have a look. Um hmm. I actually think be Oh uh, I like her more than Layla. I don't like it. Yeah, no, I'm settled for here. I can't put a past Kole. I'm quite happy about that. Yeah, I agree, Grayfax. Yeah, same same page. I'll hate them. This is gonna be an interesting one. I think I'll hate them sick. Dude, freaking dual wielding. I'm a bit of a sucker for dual wielding. I'm gonna be real. Dual wielding is great. Um, yes. The process of elimination. Oh, he has his burst ready too. Like, dude. <laughs> That's so sick. Frickin' Bookworm is absolutely jacked. Like, what the hell? Abs? Look at these arms. My man could punch a truck. Look at that. He's got the E. Quicker. Yeah, dude. Dude, he's got it. He's got the sauce, man. I have him has the sauce. He's really fun to play. The process of elimination. I, I need some. I need some. I need fodder. <laughs> That's the issue. Like I want to try things out, but nothing exists. I don't like how Hatham, but I love that he's, he's a danger DPS. Yeah, I love like when you've got his little wee um, sigils active. He has really cool secondary effects of his E. Like, look at that. Alright, we get that then. Get a rain of shit like that. Like, that's so cool. Like, that does so much damage when it spreads. Like, when he spreads off that, it's actually insane. But no, he, he is really cool. I do like him. Um, let's just warp away real quick. Besides Kave and uh, Onfield Nahiri, yeah, he, he, he. I will, I guess, Tignari, technically. If you want to keep him on field all the time. But, um, he is the best on-field danger. He is the best spreader in the game, basically. But no, he's cool. I really like him. I like the dark green. This works really well. I actually really like him. I hate him. Where does he belong, though? I do like him more than Sino. Um, yeah, I... Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Huh? No. Uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm feeling there. Yeah, his animations hard carry him. They're really sick. He looks so cool. He looks so cool. But Sucrose looks cool and is cute. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm happy with that, yeah. Yeah, we, we're, getting, we're, we're nearly finished, guys. We've still got all of Fontaine to go through. Um, Yao Yao. Yao Yao is Wait. so cute. Huh? Holy shit. Oh. Yao Yao yeah. is just pure oh, adorbs. Okay, wait, where is she? Yao Yao, I'll bring her out, actually. I think I have... In my Worcestershire team, yeah. She's such a little champion and, champion, and I love her. Look. She's so cute. <laughs> Little radish. Did her design is so cute. A little nearly trips over attacking. <laughs> like her autos are great, dude. Summons all little Uruguays. Look at that. The giant bells, yeah, on her hair. Yeah, I love that. She's got the the bow braid, the giant bells. They don't make noise though. I love how her backpack, they bounce when she jumps. Like the radishes and Yorge, they jump. She's very cute. 
Yeah, she's like clear levels of cute. Arguably more. Right, so I think, yeah. I think, yeah. Mm. Mm. She's, she's not ES plus though. I'm not saying she's ES plus though. Um, because Klee's like iconic. Like, so recognizable. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I think bottom of A, because I, I can't, like, the more I thought about it, I'm like, I can't put her above the eye. But I do think she looks better than the signer. Oh. Oh, like she's just cute though. But Sino, oh man, Sino's got the end. Actually, no, I'm gonna put her there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's making noises in the background. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. You guys can't see Yai, but she's at the very edge of the A tier right there. Hmm. All right, yeah, I'm happy with that. Day. Ooh. Okay. A tier's getting a little bit big. I'm actually gonna separate these two. The same as before. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I love you, but please stop. <laughs> Making all the noises. Okay. Let me just, um. Wait. Yeah, add one below. We'll make that. Also orange. We'll make that a minus. We'll make. Oh, sorry. I'll no, make this a. Plus, we'll make this a minus. We'll do the same thing basically. Um, change these colors around a bit actually. Make this gray because D is the. Make C. Whoa, no, don't do that. Make C. Bit of a. Maybe a white. Yeah, then B can be. Yeah, dark green. B plus can be. Lighter green, a minus can be yellow. Uh, yeah, just like that actually, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, 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 cool. And I think... <clears throat> Where should we cut that in half actually? I'm thinking Eula, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Now then, who are we doing next? Oh, Daya. That's right. Okay. Daya. I wonder. Daya looks sick. Such a big deal. Oh, she's on my team. Here she is. Yeah, Daya looks great, dude. I actually, fun fact, I actually originally thought this was a robot arm. I thought she had a robotic arm and I thought that was sick, but sadly it's not. She even threatened to cut off. Also, do the ragged jeans? Oh, she actually has like torn jeans here, like. Or pants, I guess they're not jeans. No, she's literally just like ripped this whole leg off. It's crazy. She looks great, dude. Her hair looks like her hair kind of made to look like ears. Man. Man, girls are badass. Too bad she's kind of trash. <laughs> you asked for it. She doesn't, need, she doesn't need a great sword. She punches. She punches shit. Yeah, that, that, that is satisfying to use. Yeah, dude. Day is sick, dude. Day is sick. She's got that wow factor, right? Look at that. Look at her, dude. The colors are great, too. Ayo, dark skinned tomboy GFs always win. You know, I, I, I know where to put her. She is so sick. Hold up. We've got to put her up here, right? Like, I like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. Um, she's similar to Beto, right? Similar vibes to Beto. I actually like her there. 
Yeah, I'm quite... What, do you guys think she's deserving of S and, and she slots in there? Because I think... Yeah, Daya's design is really good, honestly. I think, like... Because I can't put her any lower than that. Like, I can't. Like, I, if, I, if I put her here... That feels wrong, right? Like... But sure, Ayato, like, but... The only bad thing about Daya is her kit. Like, that's literally, like, great personality, great anime. She fucking punches shit. Fiery punches, that's so cool. She looks like that, too. See, that's the great thing. She looks like what she does, and that's the best part. She matches her aesthetic. So I think, yeah. And that's why Beto's so high. Beto, Beto's exactly the same. Badass pirate captain girl with an eye patch. You know, but has cool Chinese aesthetic look look to her. Like it's so she Beto's sick. Like that's why she's there. But like it's the same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I like that. Baiju. Mm, not too. I don't have him. I'm not too crazy about Baiju. Um. I just think he looks kind of generic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he looks kind of bland. Eh. Eh. I just don't, I don't get, I don't feel anything. I like the hair coming down, I like the snake, that's it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Baiju chat. I just, I don't feel anything. I really don't feel anything. God, I'm gonna put him down here. Yeah, I'm gonna put him there. I really don't feel anything. He's not... The only nice thing is the green hair and the snake. That's really it. And he wears glasses. But even then, Razor's wolf stand is far cooler. <laughs> like, that alone. That alone, right? Yeah, we actually are in sync, Grayfax, dude. We like saying the same shit. Like, like that alone. Like, Razor's stand alone. I'm actually gonna move Sara down a bit, actually, I think. Yeah. I think Kai is actually probably here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Actually, no, Kaya's... I think Kaya's top of C. Yeah. 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 Actually, no, I'm gonna put Kaya back in C again. I actually... The more I think about it, the more he doesn't belong with these characters. He is pretty cool. Yeah, he's about the same... He feels the same... He's the same vibe as a shell to me when it comes to design. Yeah, I'm happy if I'm there. Alright, Kave. Kave, Kave, Kave. The frickin' I remember the glitches with him, chat. Do you remember that? <laughs> you, you have a Kave join your world, and he would just like del permanently delete shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, um. The sad, thing, the, hand. the sad thing about Kave is like. In regards to his kit. That is sick. <laughs> like, holy shit. Look at that! Dude, like. Telekinetically. Kave is sick, dude. Scanning. Dude, and his charge attack is one of the most unique charge attacks in the game. Look at that. It's so sad because he's so bad. Like, that's the thing. If I didn't actually have Al Haytham, I'd probably build spread, uh, spread Kave and play him in like a quick bloom team. That's what I would do. Because that is so cool. And he's got a great personality too. He does look great too. He looks great. Yeah, dude. I love the feather in the hair, the braid. Kave looks great. Sight clear. His E destroyer's cause suck, yeah. His burst is what gives him an infusion, right? Yeah. Scanning. God, his autos are great. Like, I can't stop watching those. And look at that, dude, like, telekinetically controlling the sword, that's so cool! It's such a unique way to do a character, like, he's dope, he's actually so sick, dude. Oh man, like, like, that's great. Like, he's got it, he's instant A tier at least for that, right? Yeah. I like his autos more than hmm. Eula. Goddamn. Hmm. Uh, wh uh, where's my key? Mm. Uh, oh. 
I'm thinking like is he be I like him more than D Luke, that's why I put him there, but do I like him more than Candace and Kazuha? Look at his plunge. Oh you're right, yeah, I didn't check that. That well, I don't think I've ever seen his plunge before. Oh, he actually holds the sword. Wait. <laughs> Shakes his hand. Oh, that's so sick, dude. I love the mechanical noises of it, too. This character had a lot of love put into him. It's just such a shame he's not good. Like, that's, 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 that's the thing, right? Like, like literally, if I didn't have Alhatham, I would build him as a, my spread character. Like, that's what I would do. Um, yeah, I, he's definitely A+, because that's so sick, and he looks great. Um, I'm actually going to put Eula up here, actually, because uh, I, I think of Eula, I'm like, actually, she deserves to be up there more. Yeah, I, I, I'm comfortable with that. We're going between the two beautiful ladies. Okay. Now, Kirara? Hmm. Kirara. I actually really like Kirara. Let me have a look, see. Kirara. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Thank you for choosing Comedy Expert. Obviously, cat vibes, right? Her autos are sick. She literally doesn't care about her sword. Yeets her sword after one sl slice. Uses her claws instead. Like that. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool, dude. Turns into a freaking cat in a box. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She's very cute. Like she even did that. She did that cute pose at the ends. Oh, the hair flick. They got the cat smile. She's great, dude. The two tails. I mean, they turn into a heart. So they like become a heart in her like uh, her splash art. She's great, dude. Kirara's great. It's like, it's like she looks nice too. Got the poor feet. It's funny because like she has normal human ears, but like her bow makes it look like she has cat ears, right? That's a backflip. Kirara is great. I actually like. She definitely has that wow factor. That makes you go, oh, she's cool, you know. She also has that cool mixture of cute and cool. I think she, yeah. Uh, is she A plus T? I think I'm feeling A minus actually. I'm feeling here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm comfortable with that actually. Yeah. Mm, sorry, Grayfix. I mean, I love her too, bro. Don't worry. But like, you got to think, right? Like. Rosaria, the nun assassin, Lisa, the freaking witch that shoots electricity bolts. Like, like, come on. It, like, when you when you actually think about who they're contending against, it makes more sense, right? Like Carve, for example, right? Like his like mechanical normal attacks, his design. I'm like, yeah, that's better than Rosaria. That's that's why I put him there, right? So it makes sense when you slowly piece it together like that. Here we go, finally into the Fontanian cast chat. Lenny. Lenny. Here we go, alrighty. Nah, I don't have Lenny. But Zephyr ain't here, so... Yo, is, is Zephyr... <laughs> Twink is a bee? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Wait, hold on, where is he? Okay, I love the hat. The hat is the best part. It looks cool. Dude, his, his frickin' animations. He does his burst, he does that like, ta-da pose, right? It's sick. I remember seeing Twitters where like, they would time, they would shoot an arrow into the air to hit enemies, and when it felt, came down and exploded, they'd time that of him doing the pose. And it was absolutely top tier. It was so good chat, I swear. I frickin' loved it. Um, yeah, Lenny's just, 
I, like Lenny's Lenny's great. Like I'm gonna be real. He. Hmm. Where where should he go though? Hmm. He's definitely a. He's far too good to be any lower. Yeah, I actually yeah. Oh god, dude, the magician. Oh god, like the more I think about him. I actually kind of like him there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. But do you know who I think is better than Lenny? His sister. Lynette looks amazing. Lynette is like... Holy shit, like I love her design so much. Hold up. Like Lynette is like Lenny, but she's cute. She looks smooth, like clean, right? A really cute like kind of like um... It's like, it's like a performer outfit, right? I love her big bow. She's also got the cat. He has a little star on her face. Right? Like, that's cute. Making tea. Just summoning it out of thin air like that. The ears twitching. So cute, dude. Also, she's a badass. Has a sprint. Look at that shadowy sprint off the mist. That's so cool. Her attacks. She does a cartwheel. Like, Lynette's yeah! so sick. I love Lynette. Goddamn, her robo voice going to power saving mode, yeah. I think, like, like I think everyone loves Lynette. I'm gonna be real. It's really, she's one of those characters that's just really hard to not dislike. Like, her design is amazing. Her personality is, like, it's, it's charming in its own way, you know? Like, she's also got a really tragic backstory, too. She looks amazing. I really want more Lynette's. I really hope in Alakino's banner we get Lynette, because I'm City 1, I really want to get C6, because I'd love to play Taser Lynette. I'd love to play Taser Lynette so much. Would be so much fun, chat. I would love that. But no, I think, yeah, I, I love her. Bit of a, I'm a bit biased, obviously. Also, they do that at- hold on. That- that idol. <laughs> it's so good. I loved her in that cooking event too. That was really cool. Um, I yeah, she she's definitely at least S for me. Where is she? Oh yeah. I'm thinking here. Is she above Beta and Yunjin though? I do like her more than the A plus characters for sure. Dude, her E is sick. Like the shadow sneak, right? It's so cool. Um. Do I like it more than bait? I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. I don't think I like it more than Daya, though. Hey, Zeph is here! <laughs> yeah, I like Lynn and S. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Alrighty. Now then, Fremine. Yeah. So far, all the siblings perform really well, but Fremine is definitely like the, the underdog. Like, I just, I'm not a fan of Fremine. That's very standard. That's very standard. Like, he's cute with the penguins, though. Bit of a builder. I don't know, I don't feel much when I look at him, eh? I can't be bothered bringing him out to see his animations, so I feel like it's not going to make a difference, right? Like, it's it's really not. Um, I like him more than Baiju. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put him there. I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy there, because I, I like him um, above Baiju, but the characters above him, I like more. So yeah, I'll keep him there. I'm happy with that. Nuvelet. Udix. Whoops, Daisy. Nudix. Nouvellet. Oh boy. The frickin' Dragon Sovereign himself. Let's take a good look at him. I love Nouvellet. Oh my god, dude. Nouvellet's so frickin' sick. Um, like, dude, look at this man. Look at this man. Oh, dude, I love the voice. Have you guys even taken him to, taken him to the desert? 
It's freaking hilarious. Listen to his voice line when you take him here. It's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Alright, listen to this. It's great. I was watching a video about this earlier. I cannot help but feel that you bringing me here is some sort of an assassination attempt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because, like, no water, dude. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Oh, that's cool though. That that dude like be sanctified. The time beckon. God, that burst is sick. He freaking hydro pumps. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. Oh my god. Bow your head. Maneuverly. Oh god, I I'm kind of thinking S plus maneuverly, dude. God, he just he's so freaking sick. He looks, he looks like an authority figure. Like, like, he is an authority figure, but he also looks the part, right? Oh, there's a full quote in the voice lines? Let's have a look, because I love that. It's about in the desert, right? Yeah. I cannot help but feel that you bringing me here is some sort of an assassination attempt. Oh, that is the full voice line. I thought there was more. But do he, like, yeah. Nuvel, it's just... Oh man, that makes him wet too. Holy crap, man! Silence. Freaking love Nuvalet, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's actually really like, goddamn, like, cause he's like Archon level, right? Like, goddamn. It's really difficult. Um. God, he's definitely okay. Let, okay, let's go though. He's definitely S. I like him more than Yunjin. Yeah. 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 I like him more than Elon. This is where it gets hard. Uh... Oh man, this is where it gets really hard. Do I like him more than Yui? God, I like because Yui's great, but Soul's Nuvalet. Be sanctified. His burst is sick. <sighs> He's not as flat. I'm. He, are you sure? Like, I feel like. Look at this dude. Like, oh my god. That shit's one of the funnest moves in the game. Like you, like. You look at him and you feel power, and that's what I really like. Like, you know not to mess with this guy, right? And that's great character design. When just from looking at them, you know they're an authority figure and they're powerful. But he also looks kind, and that's exactly what Nuvalet is. You know? Like, it feels... He's, he's, he's iconic, he is, you know? It's just... God, it's just, it's just, this is, this is the difficult part. Like, I feel like he is above all these characters. An S, but is he better than Yoi? Hey, Hope, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. I'm really struggling, Hope, where to put Nuvalet. Because I love Yoi Mia. She's so aesthetically pleasing. And just, it's just perfect. But like, hmm. I see it bias aside, and yeah, I kind of, I'm starting to agree, because when I like, I think of Yelan, I think these two are about the same. Well, I could put him there or put him here. I think these two are about the same. But I don't think he's better than these three. Like, these three are just so, such strong contenders. Yeah, I can't really put him more than that. That's me. I, 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 like, if, if I include bias, I'd probably just put him in S, like, above Klee. Like, if I was bias, I'd probably do this. And also this, you know, but I, I'm trying to be as objective as possible. Which obviously is, like, impossible when it comes to design, because everyone has different tastes, but I'm trying to be, like, like, how I describe that, right? Like, hey, he looks like how he feels. He looks like a kind, authoritative, powerful figure. He looks like that, right? And he feels like that. And it's spot on how they designed them, so that's why he's so damn high. The same official you and coaching, they you know they like that. So yeah, okay. Risley, Risley Disley. Let's see. 
I like this boy. Resley is cool. Let's have a look see. Now Risley. I'll lead the way. I freaking love Risley. He looks so I love the jacket. The jacket's sick. He looks great. Yeah. Freaking man gauntlets. Boxes. Freaking like in Street Fighter. Risley is sick, dude. Stay clean. Face your guilt. Hell yeah, look at that. God damn. Oh my god, I, well, I'm actually working on prison fic about him. I, I love the JoJo's references of him. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, he... His backstory, yeah. I haven't done a story quest yet, actually. I really should get to that. Yeah, dude, fuck it. Yeah, the tie, the tie fix. I love Risley. I think, like, like... Man, like, like, I swear Hoyo gets better and better with the character designs, honestly. But he's another one that I just want to... <sighs> okay, yeah, is he better than... In... This is where you got to start, right? I think, like, you th you look at where they, they are minimum. I think he's here minimum, and then we move up. I like him on the deal, Luke. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm thinking there. Yeah. I'll put him above Lenny. I like him more than Lenny. A little bit of bias there because I have him and I don't have Lenny, but I feel like that's fair. But I think of like, I think of Wanderer. I think of as like flying in the sky, shooting like wind blades and shit, and I'm like, oh man, you can't top that, right? That's pretty respectable though, right there. Okay. And here is my favorite character in the game. Um, so naturally, I have a lot of bias, but I feel like everyone's gonna agree with this regardless. Uh, Farina. What, well, like, like, it's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory, right? Uh, let's, let's go grab her real quick. Where's, where's our girl? Farina just looks... Oh, thank you for the follow. Farina is just... Like, I love her hat so much. Like, where do you begin with her? It's funny, because, like, when you first meet... Like, she pre presented herself as the goddess of just The god of justice, right? She looks the part. But now here she is. She's being all cute. Oh, that warms my heart, dude. That warms my heart. Also, let's look at her animations, right? She is. Yeah. <laughs> just she. Okay, the best what best way to describe Farina, she oozes personality, right? She's like Hu Tao levels of oozing personality. Look, look at these normals. She poses, does a bow. I love her burst too. Echo and song. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Oh my god, I love her so much. Freaking her charge attack changes her style. She can literally change her clothes. <laughs> Goes from long hair to short hair. Different color. Goes from like a nice white, brighter, to like a darker one. Like, it's so good. Michael Jackson pose, yeah. Like, that's so sick. I love that. Kicks her sword away. Has that little s s cheeky smirk on her face. She's so good, dude. She had so much love put into her. <laughs> Summons her thing. Does the cool bow. Like, oh, dude, she has everything. Oh, my God, I love her. Oh, God. It's Farina, too, dude. Like, <laughs> she's having a good time. She's putting on a show, and that's what she's all about. It makes so much sense. Like, she is an actress. And when she fights... She is acting, but she's also really damn good. Like, look at that. She's not actually trying to swing a sword. She's just being all flamboyant about it, right? Like, it's great. Like, she did that in her demo as well. And, like, summons her team wh wh who do all the damage. Snap, flick the sword away. Like, it's so good. 
Her texturing is so cute, yeah, like... God, I just... Like, I never- I, I love Farina so much. Like, it's just so... Obviously... She's objectively a really good design, but obviously we're gonna have some bias in here as well. Um, obviously, S plus tier is not ordered, but I'm putting it there because I love her that much. But yeah, she she's easily deserving of that, honestly. And um, there's only one other character I think who also belongs in S plus tier, but we'll get to that. But next we have Charlotte. I love Charlotte. Charlotte is adorable, honestly. Like she, she's just Charlotte's just cute. Boring. Isn't there anything else? Farina, I'm getting to that. I love you, but come on, my stream's not that boring, okay? I wish Charlotte's. Oh, I have on this team. On this team, I like to switch around. Mona and Bennett's fun, but also Farina. Oh, oh, they... whoa, that was weird. Farina. My magnificence and Charlotte. What's the news? What's the news? I love her demo music too. Okay, like Charlotte, she looks great. She looks great. She doesn't. She definitely doesn't look generic. She looks very unique. That is a very unique outfit. I love her monocle. With a little oh dude, her monocle like half monocle with a little wee bow attached to it. That's so cute. Her hat with the fear. She looks great. My like, Charlotte's design is so fucking good, dude. Holy shit. Charlotte just looks so great. And she has a camera attacks. Incredibly unique. Charlotte's great. Like, look at that. Dude, that's so cool. Like, only her and Nahida have, like, e-skills like this. And she's a four-star character. Charlotte is, like, I'm gonna, I think Charlotte's up there. Like, holy crap, like, Charlotte's incredibly well designed. Like, that's genuinely impressive. You don't need to attach the sleeve thing, but that's a hoe thing. I think... Like, 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 the more I think, okay, yeah, she, like, cause Coco's got amazing animations, but so does she. I think, yeah, she... Yeah, I kinda wanna slot her there, actually. Shit, S is getting uh, a little bit- okay, I'm gonna separate the S tiers as well. Um, we'll make that- we'll just make that red as well. Uh, S... S minus. S, S minus, S plus. We'll do that. Oh, no, no, that's S. This can be S minus, and we'll just make that red as well. Just to separate them a bit. Okay, and I think, yeah, that'll probably start with... Yeah, just to make that a little bit more easier to look at, yeah. So basically, these are just the same... These are the... S and S mice are the same tier, basically. I'm just separating them to make her a bit more easier to look at. <laughs> Aloy, yeah, I, I didn't... Bro, I didn't even bother with her, honestly. Because she's, she's actually not a Genshin original design, so like, it doesn't really count as well. Charlotte is indeed, like, if you were to ever design a report as an in-game character, you wanted to be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Charlotte's just really well designed. And that's the thing, right? Okay, now, for one of my favorite characters, who I'm gonna be- another- this is another Yoimiya, I'm gonna be incredibly biased with, uh, Navia. I adore this character. Um, Navia's such a good character, oh my god. Uh, oh, and the team. Fucking beauty. Pure style. Has a shotgun. <laughs> is bubbly, strong-willed, golden locks. Wields a fucking axe. Is beautiful, did I forget to mention that? It's Navia. Like, oh my god, I love this character so much. Oh my god. One of the best design characters, in my opinion. She looks stunning. Right? Like, she is beauty. I love the hats, the long golden hair. She's a badass with a gun. <laughs> like, need I say more chat? Like... <laughs> I am a huge Navia simp for good reason. Right? Like, oh my god. I'm still in that Geo and she like does that. She picks her axe and swings her umbrella like a golf club. Has that cute ass pose. Always got a smile on her face. With has freaking shades. Like dude, come on. I made a video about her for a reason, right? 
<laughs> that she's peak. I'm sorry. She's actually peak. She is peak. I'm sorry. She's actually she's actually peak. I can't. Holy shit. <laughs> like, yeah, like everyone agrees with me. Like she like Yeah. No, I I think she actually is the top. Holy shit. Dude, okay, I'll be honest, I do think that is more appropriate, but goddamn Navia is amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. She is absolutely... Like, I remember when I first saw her and like, the Fontaine thing, I'm like, I want her. <laughs> as soon as I saw Navia show up, like, she was gliding down her umbrella when we first saw her in like the Fontaine introduction stream. I'm like, want her. Instantly, I'm, I'm rolling for her when she comes, you know. I looked at her, one look at her, I'm like, I know I'm gonna like her. You know? And that's how you know a character's got a good design, when you can think things like that, right? It's like when you first see Raiden Shogun, with the Booba sword cutscene, right? It's like, you know what to expect from that. Same with Farina, you know? Like, that's how you know they're really well-designed characters. That's why Clea's up here, and Mona, you know? Bit of odd choices, but they make sense, right? It's great. So good. I guess the thing, the one thing that brings her down is the quest. I haven't done her quest yet, actually, surprisingly. I really should. Funny that, eh? Oh, Navi, Gamma, Navi's your favorite character. You haven't done her quest yet? It's like, I know, I know. I'm a bit... I procrastinate <laughs> when it comes to quests, okay? I am getting through them. Don't worry, but, um... I'm sure. The thing is with Navia is literally all her character development came from the Archon quests. <laughs> That's the thing, right? Like, she, she went through so much shit in that quest. And she still comes out of it all bubbly and happy. She's that strong-willed. She's fucking insane. I don't care if I like- Dude, she she actually saved Geo. Navia saved Geo. I'm- I'm- I'm quoting that. I'm saying that. I'm not quoting it, sorry. I am the quote. I think Navia saved Geo. Right? Because she actually made Crystallize good. Right? Like, people make the argument, Oh, but she didn't make Geo better. Like, well, she is Geo. She is the Crystallize reaction now. The more Crystallize you make, the more damage she does. Isn't that technically, like, a reaction? Doing damage? Right, you make it crystallize, she does more damage. It's the same as like aggravate. You aggravate, your electro and da attacks do more damage. It's that simple. It makes sense. The real savior of Geo was crystallize all along. No, it was Navia. Just like uh, how Shivrus was the savior of uh, Overload. Now, I actually really like Shivrus. Um, I, I'm really sad the event was not permanent because Shivrus actually has a really good backstory. Um, she had a pretty rough upbringing, and her dad was really rough on her, and her design, I, I actually really like it. The eye patch, got the earmuffs for her musket, right? Got the freaking police cop freaking hats, right? Drop your Has a gun? <laughs> a rifle? Yeah. Shivers is pretty sick. Shivers definitely has that wow factor. She's not like top tier, but she def like I think Shivrus is like pretty damn solid. Like I I think like I don't think she's Charlotte level, for example. But where is she? Yeah, I don't think she's S, but I do think she's like around here. Mm, yeah, I do like yeah I like her more than Sucrose. The thing that brings Sucrose down, Sucrose's animations are what keep her high. Her, her kind of outfit is kind of what ruins Sucrose. Um, but her design, her like she has a freaking gun. She literally is a sniper. Um, <clears throat> oh, my voice is getting a bit dry. Sorry, guys, I'm talking so much. This is a four and a half hour stream. I feel my voice getting really dry. Give me a second. That's better. <clears throat> but yeah. I think she's there. Yeah. Yeah, next to Kazuha, I'm happy with that. Yeah. That makes sense to me. She's gun as tall than me. <laughs> Xian Yun. I don't have her. I did try to get her, but I missed 50-50 and got a C6 Kaching, so I was actually pretty stoked with that, honestly. But, Xian Yun. Yeah, I mean... I mean... 
I mean, it's Cloud Retainer, man. Look at her, she's m Like, the thing is... They portrayed her, she makes popcorn, I love that. They portrayed her as a mother figure. And when you look at her, you, you see a mother. Like, she looks like she'd be a mom, right? She gives that vibes, and look at her cleaning her glasses. I love that. The green and dark hair color. Shanyun's grey. And the frickin' her E? Skyward! Shatter! Scatter! Skyward! Shatter! Like, that's... yeah, I... I don't have her, but I know she's really damn good, right? Like... Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I, 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 I'm going to put it there, I think. <laughs> Actually, the more I'm thinking about this, I kind of want Ayaka and Nilu here. I like those two more than these two. Yeah. The, the, the longer this uh, list is gone, the more I put Ayaka up, because I think... The reason why Aika's got such a good design is because you think about her and you're like, oh yeah, you know? And like, whenever I contemplate putting a character past Aika, I'm like, no, Aika's just better than that, and I just bump her up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think, oh, I think she's better than Ning. I don't think she's better than Child, though. Child is sick. Oh, she has like the double triple jumps, though. Yeah, Ike is the epitome of Princess Warrior. Exactly. I don't see why some people thought she should have been the top of A+. Ike is literally iconic. Samurai Princess. She looks beautiful and is just cool. You know? Very majestic when she attacks, and it's just, it makes sense to put her that high. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> Alright guys, just two to go. We're not going to do Alakino, because obviously she's not out. In gaming... Fortunately for the last two characters, well, we do have them, so we don't have to go into here anymore. Like... Like, dude, I love that. That's so sick. Yeah, <laughs> do the dragon dancing. Sorry, is it lion dancing or dragon dancing? I can't remember. I think it's lion dancing, right? And when, he, when he's in his burst mode, he gets his foot up, and he glows. Like, I, I'm sorry I forgot I didn't show up before, but it looks great. He He's sick, dude. He is actually really damn cool. More companions! Hooray! I think. Where does he belong though? I think. Yeah, he's definitely. Ooh. Kinda wanna slot him there actually, yeah. I Oh god, his autos are oh, he's really good. But that's the thing, he's not better than Kokomi. Kokomi is just, yeah. Same with Wanderer, Risley's sick. Um, yeah, I'm happy from there. Yeah, I think A plus is fair. That's pretty fitting. Alright, and last but not least, Chiori. Now, we all know Chiori when it comes to her cats. Bit disappointing, right? But what Chiori does have, which isn't, which is what this is all about, is she looks amazing. Let me just get a. Uh, there we go. As you wish. Chiori looks amazing. Like she is the fashion queen. Her outfit is outstanding. Freaking kimono. She's got the arm flaps that Inazuma characters like to have. Summons little dolls that look like her. Like I like that too. Her burst? Best leggings in the game? Yeah, she does. She's got lovely leggings. I'm not trying to be pervy right now. I'm genuinely look just looking at her leggings. <laughs> but yeah, dude, like, her burst too. Get her. That's really cool too. Her autos as well. Yeah. Jewel wielding. Yeah. Super slick. Yeah. She looks nice. 
I really like Chori's design. That was a big reason why I wanted to pull for her, actually. Personality was number one, but her design, phenomenal, right? She's definitely got that well factor. Like, when you look at her, you think, damn, she looks good, you know? So I think, um, unique heels, yeah, that too, yeah, they, they are doing the heels of, uh, how, how do you walk on that? I feel like she, if you push her just a little bit, she falls over. All right, she's definitely... Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Design-wise, she looks better than these characters. Yeah, her outfit. Yeah, when you look at first glance at Shiro, you're like, wow. But so does Kokomi. I think she's same level as Kokomi. I think she's there. Alright guys, and there you go. That is Gamma Fox's Genshin Impact character design and aesthetic tellist. Interesting, so what do you guys think of this? Is there anything you want to discuss? Is there anything that you guys think we should go into more depth with? Or are you guys pretty happy with this? Sino should be A. Okay, so the issue with Sino is I don't have him, so it's harder for me to get a fair judgement. He is pretty sick though. Oh no, you guys are right. You guys are so right. You guys are so right. I thought of his bursts. I thought of his voice lines and how he goes into claws and goes guilty and like starts slabbing and gets his Anubis thing on. That really bumps him up for me. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't do that sooner. Oh, actually, no, you guys are convincing me. I don't think she's above Eula and Diluc. Because these two are... yeah... I do kind of feel like we should bump her down. She's definitely better than these characters, yeah. Yeah, no, that seems fair to me. See, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, no, that makes sense, right? Okay. Yeah, I think she's good there. Appreciate you guys, by the way. Oh, good to see a lot of new people here today, uh, today as well. So, saw a bunch of new guys show up, but it's always good to see. But either way, guys, take care. You're all a bunch of awesome peeps, and I hope to see you guys all again next time. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend where you live, and I'll see you all next time.